Uh, yeah, let's fucking let's watch the quarterfinals. Let's uh, let's watch the quarterfinals. Let's 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 watch the quarterfinals, man. Hey, why not? Why not? Why not watch it? Why not watch it? I can't help smiling right now to be in, inside this environment, to be feeling it, to be mm. hearing the crowd going loud. Now, I will say, into the bridge, they can see these guys, right? They're yeah. running in another direction. They're staring in towards the 10, 15, 20 UK fans. Hello, the god gamer is here. I forget what to put my camera. Maybe. We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, like the horses are running, right? <laughs> exactly. Uh, now, you have to tell me who the fuck is uh, into the bridge here. Into the bridge. Who is that? And we do have Mirage as a decider if we do so need it. Let's get this quarter final underway. Well, UK team. Jason, we're ready so they are the underdogs. Is that what you're saying? Feeling on this fine evening here in beautiful Paris. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. The crowd has brought it. The fans have brought it. Fan France, Paris, we're here. This is wonderful vitality. This is, a uh, team, yes, this is a team that should be lifting the trophy. I cannot think of many let matches me that just... are so, such a disparity between the two teams in basically every single sense. If Into the Breach can do it, it would be one hell of a ride. Yeah, here we go. We're going to get ready with it. Here we go. Oh, my God. This game could be something special. We're going to get into it right away. The opening match is... Vertical vitality versus into the breach. We will not delay any further. Into the breach, they're going to be starting on the T side. Vitality on that CT side. Ready. Oh man, he's going with the duelist. No doubt about it. The duelist. Apex right now, there is so much underlined playing in front of the home crowd and into the breach. They have nothing to lose, and that's exactly what makes them dangerous. They're going to slow it down. They've actually got a lot of control already. Yeah, this is going to be a set piece the whole way, though. Utility's coming out. Here comes the attack. Apex and Zaiwu on the initial defense. First kill of the series, and that's the bomb. And all of a sudden, Vitality have all the advantages. Another! Sending one person with the bomb over on that side is definitely risky. And they've paid the price as well. Thomas and Rallon left trying to see if they can pull something back together again, but it's not going to be possible here. Thomas! Thomas on his own. He's very isolated. Come on, Thomas. He'll be shut down as well. Good triple on Saiwoo to begin with. The duelies living up to the hype here in Vitality. They get the first round on the board. That's not bad, though, from Into the Breach. If they had not lost the bomb on that single player, they might have been able to work something. Now, remember, too, Into the Breach. Into the so airport. It had to have been crazy to even think <laughs> they were at this point on this stage in cool. these playoffs. They're going to have to work out a bunch of nerves just watching them come down the stage. In this Night game, Sniper, I think for two years, it's Force and Despair. Energetic Mask, so Cacophone, and Gunnervine, welcome back. Oh, we need two years. Today's the name is for us. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure, man. For sure, for sure, man. Elite and Ray, Rudy, welcome back as well, welcome. It's too crazy. All right, Apex had a bit of a mission with the MP9. It's going to be good for the one kill and a decent follow up. Both Thomas and Volk. Eagle Fragger, why push? Greedy motherfucker. Find a good eagle shot, but Sai was just so yeah, I get those confident. fucking kills. I actually like this, like this get him. right off the bat in the game because the one thing that could be dangerous is if, if they play very slowly and into the breach are allowed to build a lot of strength behind Gotta them. build that KDR no for the stats, even, even major pure, stats pure, compilation, level, right? And it's using all the advantages, right? All the advantages More important than winning. inside of this arena, the heavy skew in terms of the fans, like keep that pressure on them remind them with every kill that there's an entire section just cheering you on every step of the way Rollins gonna see what he can find at the end last remaining in a 1v3 but you could see Dupree all the experience mentioned every single CSGO major he's got his eyes on the flank for his team will not catch anyone off guard yeah that crowd is oh, messing with him though he's hearing the cheers and he's thinking big giveaway what's going on am I about to get flanked what's away. actually happening but yeah, this has already been discovered. They definitely know what's coming. Tries to get oh. the shot. It's a pretty good headshot. And okay, 30 not seconds bad. left. If you could do that twice more, then there may be a chance here. He's looking for an ace with the deagle. So this would be one hell of a way to kick things off. 22 seconds now around the corner. Up close has to be a perfect headshot. And it will not be. Spinks will take him down instead. And Vitality, I mean, they're having to fight for some of these early rounds. Yeah, relative, I mean, that one never really within reach, but nice and expensive if you're into the breach to make Vitality respend into the round. So M4's come up. No op yet on Zaiwu. 
Two to nothing. Move cam the AKs up. are out. The AKs are out for the attacking side. Let's see what they have in this first gun round. Uh, they have a different UI now than before. All AKs, uh, but then again, all M4s on the other side too, so they're going to be super ready. I don't want to hide the kills. In sight. They're actually looking to push the middle of the map right now. Trying to see if they could do a, put a little bit of pressure on. Yeah, it's only Spinks here. Yeah, Which map should we ban for the show match? A little bit of an off angle, but Volt just crouching in to take him down. Not even a flashbang thrown to set up that kill. And opening things up for Cypher and Crucial to go to work on the other side of the map. Moving up ramp, just the two of them. Thomas far back in support. But look at the aggressive crossfire setup. There's the swing from Apex. Can't handle it. Knocked off the building and it's only Zywo he finds one through smoke. And an important find as well. That's what keeps them in the round right now. If they don't have that one, this would be a very tough five versus three. Vitality know it's coming though, they're shifting. Dupree gets a deeper angle into the bomb site. May just starts rotating over towards middle. Zywoo's even falling back from the A site. There's a timer on this. Into the breach, absolutely have to have immediate success. They do. Flash is good to begin with. Wide swing for Thomas, and he nearly gets what he wanted. Volt continuing. And he's going to take down Megascon on the other side, and they're going to be backing up already. So a first round on the board for Into the Breach real early on. Definitely great news right there. And while we're with it, just so we have a little bit of a break here, you can go and vote for the show match, which uh, maps are going to be banned out there. You want to do that over on Blast TV. Don't forget about it. Um, that's coming up, obviously, on Sunday where the finals are going to be. But yeah, they decide to pull the plug, Jason. What do you think about that? Should they have fought for that round? The, no, they absolutely have to pull the plug. Four players alive, control the bomb site as well. You're low on economy. You need these two rifles. Oh, greedy. Just like he did with the Deagle to put them in this position. And look at the hunt. Look at the hunt from Into the Breach. A couple more coming, and Zaiwu's going to try his best to stay alive, and he can't. He can't do it. Into the Breach is on the board. What was and that smoke? Away. They were very, what was that smoke about? Get those rifles out of their hands. And you know what, now those earlier rounds, the first two, but they managed to do a bit of damage, they certainly have an impact right away, because Vitality it's actually a one way. to buy right I don't know this map very well. I only Rylan played a couple of times. In the previous round, making it a one versus two at the end. Could hear Cypher screaming down in the booth. Look, that's really good for Into the Breach. Let's just pause on that. Nothing tactical, but just to get themselves into the game early, a round on the board, it's going to start feeling so much worse if you just start getting buried by rounds. Five, six, nothing down. Avoiding that is a brilliant first step. And now we have to see if they can build upon it. Volt holding in middle, looking for pushes. A lot of emphasis over towards A ramp. No presence for Into the Breach at the B bomb site. And basic control being exerted. Defense being forced back just slightly into the waiting arms of Volt, who's got another opening. That Sphinx down first again. If both of them P9, that's what could be dangerous. That's going to lose the uh -oh. AK in the middle of the map, and actually, they could go pick it up, but the rest of Into the Breach are taking the bomb site. Apex alone with the Deagle, and he, he needed to commit to that fight. He probably thought there was someone behind him, and he wasn't wrong, but he could have maybe had one of them there. One versus three to pre, and the AK is just going to be more valuable than trying to go for this one. So they will tie up the game right away into the breach. 2-2 two, two against Vitality to start this series with. Early days, Jason, but um, makes you a little bit excited. Yeah, it's got to, seeing this fight out of them. This is great. You got to remember, too, this into the breach team, like, they're obviously on some level going to just say, we're happy to be here. We're happy we've gotten this far. But remember, too, this is a team that's not just playing for the five people within that. Are we uh, cheering for the underdogs? Like, look, to Thomas the other day, they're also playing to revitalize the entire region, the entire UK right. Counter-Strike reinvigorate. Or the gatekeepers. They much feel the weight of that as well. Anything they can do to make this difficult, anything they can do to overcome this is going to be so important to them. Yeah, because in Counter-Strike Source, British Counter-Strike was really a real thing, right? They had real teams competitive at the highest level, but it never really materialized into CSGO, and that was disappointing for a lot of people who were hoping that some of those star names would sort of make it into the space and really carve their way out. So I, I don't think you're wrong. It's true. Into the Breach are really here to try and pave the way for the entire nation to get a little bit inspired and show that they can do it again. Yeah, re -inspire exactly. the entire scene. Crucial's going to turn the corner. Plenty of bodies for him, ready and waiting. Oh, a little bit of a uh, Mac 10, couple of kills there to make some extra cash. They're gonna be they're getting bugs. Start here, uh, even losing the pistol, they're gonna be fine. Three to two in favor of Into the Breach, the massive underdog. I don't think we've have we ever had a, a, a game of this caliber on on a stage that 
where there's such a discrepancy between the, 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 the names that are in here. Not I sort of doubt it. Not that comes to mind. Yeah, th this would be an absolutely historic upset. Still far away, but I gotta say, very happy, very pleased. The British fans are as well. A one round narrow lead over Vitality for the moment, and still. They're keeping the AWP away from Zaiwu due to the money issues, the economic damage. They're doing a good job of keeping the best player in the world off his best weapon. The best player in the world? Out of the game plan right here, now. Quick I'm not even playing. So, uh, what are they talking about? Sorted out for Vitality before we can get back into it. But yeah, this is about the best start that you could have hoped for right here. And that's a crucial point that you're bringing up right now. Not having the AWP on Saiwu, because that is the super weapon that they have on the Vitality side to shut down into the breach. Yeah, the longer you get to avoid <laughs> that. And especially especially when you consider how much emphasis we've seen into the breach put towards a ramp early on, a couple of rounds with three, four players in that position. Right. Like, you're going to want to avoid that off as memes. much as humanly possible. That's yes. going to make things so much easier to start your rounds. mentioned into the breach and what they're playing for vitality all the experience on this team and the various things they're playing for fresh legend and apex getting his second major trophy still possible dupree becoming the winningest major player of all time with five if he can make it happen and obviously the man right there zaiwu a date with destiny <laughs> can snatch a major trophy right in its dying days and you can't say he wouldn't deserve it. Nobody has broken through like Sayu did when we first heard his name spoken. We were like, oh, this is interesting. And then within a matter of months, he was just a household name. Everybody knew who he was. Man, that's, uh, that's a lot of the dudes. Ever since. One player, I would say, especially now that Nico is out, I would say Sayu is the, is the candidate for somebody that should have won a CSGO major and still can. Still can. Still has a fantastic, uh, fantastic opportunity for it. Why are they passing? The Technical pause. I mean, phase knocked out. Heroic still obviously in this very dangerous team. Um, but I mean, for Vitality, they got to be thinking this. This could be a, a really, really good crack at the grand final. This strat. Yeah. Well, I mean, I also I like kind of what so. Apex said in the interview as well. Like listing off the teams into the breach has beaten to get here. They've taken oh, some scalps. They've had some very strong victories, and we are already starting to see it in the in the score or on the uh, in the score, obviously as seen. well. The level that into the breach can hit the individual players, the prowess. And so far, I haven't seen anything that makes me feel like the nerves are shaking them, the nerves are getting to them and causing a dip. They seem very You winked at me. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that either, but to be honest, I also, I, I think it might also suit a team like Into the Breach to sort of be the underdogs and to just come in and, and, and just, you know, you have almost nothing to lose. I mean, Thomas talked about it in the past as well, how they don't necessarily that have to like like get right. play on their team. Josh Cypher is really good and he's really improved uh, a lot and just proven that he could do it in a smaller stage during the RMR and then all the way through Ooh, the major I'll so tell you. But they um, don't have the same firepower that, that Vitality do. So they have to do something else. They have to play differently. And that's the mentality that they're coming into this with. Gonna have to do it as a team, as a unit. Was it Apex with glasses? Round was six. Zyru's gonna get aggressive down the ramp. Wants to spam through the smoke. All of his shots are oh, almost taking down Cypher. Who's still gonna step forward aggressively. But the Molotov brings him right back. Yeah. Yeah, if he hadn't got tagged up, he probably would have gone through that Molotov to try and take the fight, but because he was already low on health, it wasn't really worth it. He's still out here fighting, oh, and I don't Lord. know how, but through the smoke, he's found the shot on Apex. That is a wild way to get a round started. Cypher that, very low on health. That's so beastly, and look at the defense. Sphinx and Dupree all the way over at the B bomb site. Dupree's gonna start pushing, Sphinx is gonna start falling back. Not feeling any pressure, any presence, so they want to come shore up this A bomb site. They're still very far away, have to be concerned about middle, and into the breaches just waiting for their moment. Still plenty of time left, too. 50 seconds here. Meg is playing up close round and right now. Background, side, and background uh, in. So they're beat? looking to inside the Yeah, you hear it too. Yeah, there's a bit of a fight, and he's almost won it. <laughs> I will not let him go. Bullets he out in the open, and what? I don't know how, but Cypher, he's picked up a deagle and he what shot the down. Fuck? Cypher, this is absurd. Sphinx now in a lot of trouble trying to get flashed in, but it's a third kill. A Cypher is picking them apart right here. Oh, no, they really is in. on his own, and he can't do anything about this one. Cypher has just picked them apart completely. That's unreal what Cypher has just delivered with 10 HP the whole time. 
from the get-go. He styles on Zaiwu as well. Oh, well, they the are. Is this map T sided or C T sided in tournaments? So much more confident within your team when your star player, one of your star players, delivers like this. What is even going on? How, how does he do it? Pulls out the Mac 10. The flash goes behind him. I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting into it. Four to two into what the breach. Yeah, he should be getting into it. This is unbelievable. Four to two in favor of into the breach. These rounds are so fast. Really, really early on. Like they're playing kind of just so fast on T side. Going. They have to keep stacking it and they, they have to never let in. vitality back in. Because it could change in a, in a round or two. Well, it's going to certainly have to change in the next round. The next buy round is going to be an op in Zywoo's hands. And if it's not, something's gone terribly, terribly wrong. I and guess A-side side is very hard to... Uh, in round number seven, Vitality trying to get back... To smoke to off ways, properly. Trying to figure out what exactly is going wrong. So Zonic involved in the conversation. Yes, touched on it. You touched on the greatest coach of all time behind Vitality. Everything in this major between having Zonic behind them, between Apex's leadership starting to feel much more comfortable than it has. They're, they're just the going in. Dupree, no, no cares. Just a couple of flash and at the perfect moment. And all they have to do is not stumble over this obstacle of Into the Breach. Yeah, don't fall behind against one of the most unlikely teams to have made its way here. And yet here they are. Four to two, leading into round at number seven, Vitality. They're not gonna have that much to play around with here. Dupree's got the 1M4, they got some Deagles, which means they're still dangerous in this round. Wouldn't discount Vitality just with what they have here. And slightly in towards the A-bomb site. And Dupree and Sphinx. Just gonna call the elevator. With that one rifle. I think they're boosted up as well. Assuming that they can try and get a deeper look down towards the stairs. Ouch. This is nice, into the breach. Multiple times now we've seen them able to bully their way up this ramp. Cypher and Crucial working together again at Zywu. They would meet. If Crucial turns this corner, that Deagle. A little dangerous with these jiggles. And Crucial wants none of that fight. Yeah, and Cypher's feeling it. He knows he has the opportunity here. Goes for the wide swing. A little bit of a return to spray. He is so deadly accurate. Taking down one more and tapping away against Apex. Tries with the Glock, he's hungry for this kill, and he's gonna continue. What the fuck just are you this aggression coming out from Cypher. Even if he doesn't get those last kills, just putting on so much pressure. And now it's all on Spinks here to try and do a bit more damage. I don't think he can win the round any longer. But maybe get a kill, maybe steal an AK. Cypher just relentlessly hunting. What's wrong with him? No, I, I love it. I, yeah, I think yeah I they just go A every fucking time. And I know they had fucking uh, the Eagle Echo, but still, they just go A every round. But there's nothing. There's no smoke from CTs. Go good taps at the end. Cypher finding another triple kill for himself. Puts him at 10 to 3. And Rallon right there behind him at 8 and 3. What a way to get started in the quarterfinals of the only major you've ever been in if you're Cypher. You feel like the, you've never made it to this level. You never even qualified to begin he with. He looks straight you know, out of the fucking yeah, well, 70s. Hold the phone in round number 8 because Zywoo's got the cannon out. He's got the op. Let's see how it goes in this round. If something is going to quell this A ramp pressure from into the breach, it would be Zywoo's AWP. The only thing it hasn't been tested in this part of the map just yet. Oh, all this time. To be the super weapon that we talked about. He forgot the DK this is though. Calling, though. Or Back decoy. towards middle we go. This is how the gun rounds opened up, where they found Sphinx isolated. Volt and Rollin gonna test and see what kind of space they're working with. And Volt's got a lot of room. Yeah, they're actually so deep in there, Thomas. A bit of an opening against Dupree that's over at the B bomb side. This, this is gonna force the rotation. They start of the shop, they walk right into it. That should have been a spray down. Rallon, he's looking to catch him as well. Guns back out on the side of Vitality as they were ah! almost caught off guard, but they'll fight their way back. That was seconds. Milliseconds from going absolutely horribly wrong in the middle. Look at the health on Apex and Magis. They could have just as well died. But now it's crucial here. Alone with Just the save the all man. The I can are coming through they're all right there on the other side he does have an he so 
There's a way to make this. There we go. Oh. One versus two. Very, very oh. quickly. Oh. Vegas no. can't do anything. But Saul, true to his aim. Gonna be okay, faster than okay. Trigger. And picks up a second kill of the round. So maybe not the hottest start that we've seen out of him yet. But reliably getting those AWP shots. He's up to nine kills total, and he'll save the AWP more importantly. I tell you what, though, that's a deep sigh of relief for Vitality in this round. This should have been lost. That mid presence, that mid play from into the breach was so strong. The fact it doesn't net them any of those kills is heartbreaking. Volt and Rollin really had an opportunity to build the pressure and turn the screws on Vitality, and it slipped out of their hands. Side will back just, just in case somebody wanted to play quick. And Thomas actually, he does want to play quick, quick but on the other side, putting a little bit of pressure. Not uncommon for a CT to try and push up there to look for something. <laughs> again, back working. Bro, around. what is he doing with the all oh, running around God, like he's that? He's gonna continue. He just can't be stopped. It's unreal what he's doing. A little bit of a return from Spinks, and they needed it badly. Two on two now, and still more than a minute left on the clock. Yeah, well, I think they need to go back to the B bomb side. Rollins already challenging, and he knows from that fight from Dupree that there's some space, there's some room to work with at this B site. The defense wasn't deep committed to it. So Rollins gonna clear things out. Dupree's gonna hear these footsteps, call Apex for the rotation, and Dupree will have a fast flank, get into the breach, handle the two on two post. I didn't know he could advertise alcohol. They'll have a little bit of time to figure out exactly where it's coming from. Or is that another? In, and the element of surprise is worth so much in this one. Once he fires the first shot, they're going to know. Smoke on the other side, and they've already seen him, so they know where one of them is. Two on two now, as they're trying to get a bit closer. Maybe it's not, it's because he had a period of three. Round. It's an absolutely desperate state of affairs. Round, That's the... One of the players gone. The flank is out of it. Apex now with a one versus two, and he's good for it. Picks up Volt and runs straight on there. And they could have probably bought a bit more time. They could have played it a little bit safer, but with the kit on his back, it's going to be another round for Vitality. What a clutch delivered by Apex. That shouldn't even be possible. That's back-to-back -back rounds into the breach. Should have won, and let's slip away. And if you want to cause an upset, that is a dagger. This is such a wonderful opening. Cypher's getting so much room to work with. But Apex here knows exactly where the follow-up peak is going to be. And in front of the home crowd, he's got a little bit of magic. Yeah, and this is where the pressure really sets in. And it's in those moments, you probably can't even hear your own thoughts inside of the game. And you don't have a lot of time to make a decision. But they can still buy. They still have a pretty decent economy, in fact, in the, on the T side. So they're going to continue the pressure. And Vitality, again, that is a, that's a one-on-one -on -one at the end, right? So they've spent all of their cash as well going into this round. And look at the nades. Look at the utility. Running a little bit low, but they do have this. This? They do have Zaiwu. They got the one weapon that could bring them back really quickly. Let's go A again. Okay, if I if this Cyrus doesn't stop running around with the all, they are going to lose this game 100%. Sit the fuck down or stand still. Scope in preemptively. These are really aggressive timings that Into the Breach is going for, and they're not doing it standard. It's not these full set pieces. It's not the utility streaming out. They're finding ways to close the gap where Vitality doesn't even realize how close they are. This is crushing. Yeah, if they would have gone the other way, which is obviously what Saibu was hoping for, then there's a chance that he can get a kill and sort of roll it into something, but he was completely caught with his pants. I've never seen anything like it. That's the second time it's happened, too. Cypher caught him earlier on ramp, throwing a little bit of utility. So this A defense, Apex and, and Zaiwu is kind of the anchors of this bomb site. Ooh. They got to be put on notice. Mighty flame. Themselves right now, because <laughs> into the breach is really abusing it. Volt and Thomas in charge of that one early on. And just as the smoke pops there, Crucial is able to see it. Some frustration already showing on the faces of Vitality. No, nah, that's not frustration. That's just Apex. It's all good. That's standard. Yeah. <laughs> you hope, Jason. It's on top for you now. Yes, on top. Six to four. What an absurd way to end CSGO with, with a result like this. If they can power on through. It's still very early on. We're not even through the first half yet. Fromage picked up on Vitality, and we got a couple of M4s as well. 
But again, on the grenade front, I've got someone to work with here, Vitality at the very least. Yeah, but I mean, this is this is a really shaggy buy, isn't it? saiwoo has got the opening. They get pulled into the peak. The AWP is able to ring out. Peak the AWP, man. And into the breach, love this fight. They're gonna come right back into it, but Sphinx, this position. Everyone else has fallen back. Cypher's gonna get caught. Finally neutralized, but there's no escaping into the breach. Volt's got the trade. That's a sick position for Sphinx. They definitely weren't ready for it. Did he they saw his backpack, right? It looked like he did. But they're both falling back. Are they gonna want to try and surprise him here for Mars? Doesn't look like Apex knew at all, so maybe not. What the fuck? I was back here. Are they gonna check? They have Molotovs. They can try and find him out. There's the grenade, and Saiwo, he's good for the one kill at least. But now it all falls on Dupree. These early rounds are so important. The into the breach momentum, it has to be broken right now. He's gonna win this. Guy who's been at every single major with the FAMAS and with the health to try and follow we him. Wait for plants. 24 seconds, they're ready. And oh, ready no, and they know this could be lost. coming. A little bit of a grenade. Oh it's my man, god. But the still planted. Jump on over. He knows where Crucial is. If he could find another grenade somewhere, that would be ah! pretty calm. And Crucial will take him down. A double kill for him and into the breach. Another round that goes their way, seven to four. And once again, shattering the economy. That was a FAMAS buy from Vitality. They've got nothing left. We'll have to drop down to pistols. Fantastic trading the whole way up this ramp. And once again, into the breach. Whenever they take this ramp fight, they don't fall what back. A grenade, they don't back dude. off. They keep coming back for more, and Crucial's got a big boy clutch. Deagles for Vitality. That's all they can muster in round 12. This is astounding. Into the breach have not been cowed by any of the Vitality. Bro, they're players. wasting way too much adrenaline on these uh, rounds. They really haven't. They're this playing one round. level that not many people were expecting. Maybe nobody. Eagles picked up from Vitality now and into the There's breach. There's plenty of they're rounds giving them left. Nothing for series. free. Thomas is going to be going down. It's Magisk. Always oh, quite good with the Deagle. And they're gonna wanna, yeah, throw away the rifles. Seems silly, but controlling those rifles fallen is super important. Yeah, but I feel if you're Vitality, you gotta know it's coming next. It's gotta be easy to read. You've lost a ramp so many times, into the breaches, attacked it and exploited it so many times. Get your defense shifting. But back to the B bomb site, back to B stairs. Dupree, he's gonna get caught out in transition, out in the open. He comes from the wrong side, he goes down. And the defense did shift over towards A. Magus is hustling back, and Apex is gonna get aggressive. Man advantage still, and into the breach, not yet into the B bomb site. This should almost be impossible for Magus to defend, right? One Deagle against three people coming in, they've got grenades, they're gonna be trying to run him down before more. Backup is being called for. Magus, though, good oh. position. He shuts down Vault, and those bullets keep ringing out. He's bought time. Maybe just enough time for this round to work out. A missed opportunity for Crucial. And there's the flank coming in, slowly but surely. They feel it. They know that it could be happening, but the problem is they can't spend all day. They need the bomb plant as well. They don't have a lot of time right here. 18 seconds now. A missed shot again. Trying to draw them into the tech line is what they're doing. There's Rallon with the kills, but the flank is gone. And now we're down to 10 seconds. Oh Rallon my god. Continues, and they follow it through. Into oh, the well, that was actually and really Rallon's nice. And they solved that two on three, and that was not easy. <laughs> Crucial's aggression pulls oh, no. out on the flank. He was trying to be patient until they committed, and they showed commitment. And Zaiwu gets picked off. Vitality off, fans makes it a crying. Fight. Into the breach have yet again solved the vitality puzzle. It's eight to four. And now you start feeling a little bit nervous. Jeering the fans a bit. I'm a little bit rooting oh, for the man. underdogs because uh, without the fans, we try. <laughs> in the back of my mind, but we talked about it all morning. This is almost certainly a 2 0 for Vitality. That is where it's at. You know, just step up, win it, get to the semi final. The whole plan is right there in front of them, but into the breach time and time again throughout this major. They have foiled everybody's plans. A lot of teams thought they could make it through with no trouble at all. And they've been proven wrong every step of the way. Oh, Binks, that's a great flash setup. And they're going to take down Rallon to begin with. You like to see that now. Cypher is back on the A ramp. And he has been lethal in this position. But this time, Cypher was ready to shut it down. That's a huge kill right there. And they'll catch out Thomas as well.
That's a good jump up from Apex to get that quick headshot. Crucial has to be a little bit aggressive with this ADVP if they want to come back into this, so he's going to get some... Man, they're so good with their the fucking right. grenades. Apex better be careful. Lined in on the position, knows exactly where he's at. The jump almost picked out of the sky. Smoke inside the bomb site, and Volt's going to start making a play as well. But yeah. Sphinx is slow. A wise on man the once said... If yeah, you don't throw your grenade in the first 10 seconds of the round, two on four. Should be even you're doing it wrong, the but uh, they been out of this they're one. saving it a and then like, hitting for the spots. Don't smash it. They don't have to realize the flank is coming through, otherwise this is going to be over right here and right now, and it will be. Sphinx, it looked like Crucial did have it in the back of his mind, but the problem is now the bomb is down, and Volt is walking back in to try and check it out. He's good for the one. No immediate threat there. He could still walk away from this bomb side. He's got plenty of time. Thomas Pog, welcome back. By Carly right with the one and three months. This is a must win round for Vitality down four years. One, two, three, four. Mr. Forrest, can I get a cringe fist? Yes, sir. There's no way you should be able to do this. Thank you very much. See just the head and now Dupree's been wheeled in and with no weapon in hand. It'll be easy for Dupree to pick that one up. Vitality. Oh, they needed that one so badly. Five to eight. And we're going down to the last couple of rounds of this first half here. But Into the Breach have already done so much work. Yeah, they've sent the message they're here to play. They've sent the message that this stage isn't going to scare them off. Isn't going to weaken them. Still a tough round for Vitality to keep within their control. Some desperate plays just to keep the man advantage sustained. Yeah, the pressure is on. And again, Sphinx, same flash setup and same exact kill as last time. Rallin going to be frustrated behind that one. He's had a great first half already with 14 kills, but not going to be allowed to play in this 14th round. Sphinx is getting back at him for some of the early pressure that he fell prey to in the early gun round. So right late in the half, he makes some moves to get himself on the board. Volt having presence in middle, throwing a little bit of utility, but it's not going to fool anyone from Vitality. Defense is still strong here on A-Ramp. Oh. Oh, no, no. Swing it. AK on the other side. Cypher is only good for the one. And that's going to be worth it. Turned around. Crucial actually was Wait, what kill at the end. I think he was waiting oh, for he the other guy behind him. Apex and just almost got a little bit uh, edged out. Big oh, isk. Are they going to know? Oh, the spam. It's nearly good. And they didn't quite get him with the HE either. Molotov in the back to force out the AWP. He's not going to budge at all. Saibu is a little bit too far behind. 50 seconds. This is actually pretty dangerous for Vitality, though. Crucial has these deep angles into the bomb site. If you just walk a little bit out of cover, if you make one small mistake, Crucial can punish. However, Volt's got to go right at the off. Going to be smoked off. Zaiwu does have a Molotov to delay the plant. And there we go. Throws it up, and that will really slow things down. Which is something that Into the Breach can't afford. Follow 27 up. seconds here. A little bit of a shot comes through. They're worried about the flank once again. And Volt with the bomb plant now. They're going to try and run him down. He does get the bomb planted, but it will not make a difference at all. Crucial send flying off the side of the building. It's Magus with the double, but man, these are rounds that look and feel scary. You can tell how focused Vitality have to be to not make any mistakes in these even favored of, uh, rounds. Is this they caster Danish? Advantage. They still have to really fight for it. Yeah, that's some fine nade work. Nice patience from Vitality. Yes. Coming back into this map. Six to eight. Timeout is taken. The first fight into the breach. I don't know any casters. Once again, decent trading up a ramp. Just not able to get a clean plants. Yeah, and they're starting to feel it now. Vitality have recovered far enough now that this is a super competitive map no matter what happens here in the 15th round, right? Six rounds, it's not super amazing, but it, it will be good enough for Vitality to make a comeback in the second half. Yeah, I mean, considering this half could have been much worse as well. There are a couple rounds that slipped away from into the breach. Back-to-back -back rounds earlier on in the half that would have buried Vitality early, but this is wonderful to see them claw them themselves out of that kind of an issue. Six to eight. Final round of the first half of these quarterfinals. And Zaiwu looks like he wants to be assertive and aggressive with the off peeking down, and he almost gets it. I didn't have that much to work with. Tech 9, Mac 10, Galil, a couple of AKs, limited on the grenades as well. They need a strong start, and Cypher again will be the man to step up and deliver it just that. It seems like A is the way. Four versus five. 
And Saiwu, this is risking it a lot going out here. Could also be how they get back in the round, but does he realize he definitely oh. does? So just the gun barrel. No, Shaman and a free kill, but now he's in a bit of trouble, and Cypher will find wow. Saiwu and take him I right down. Hit five versus three. Just saying. This is a disastrous start to the 15th round. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Cypher has done such a good job. Everyone's gonna know his name after this one. And into the breach, keep things slow and measured. Letting Zaiwu work on his own. And making Vitality wonder what comes next. Sphinx rotates back to CT spawn. Dupree gets a deep angle at the B bomb site. It's only Apex. Yeah, they're really gambling on the fact that it's gonna be a B hit. And you know what? It won't be. They are setting up for it here. Smokes are up. Another one to block off Apex. He's trying to delay as much as he can, but... No way. Oh, he's oh, trying to come on. to be the hero. He was hoping to buy some time for the rest of his team, but now instead, a five versus two at the end. The bomb planted. And into the breach, looking to pick up a ninth round. That was a really weird play. I don't even know how even if he kills the bomb planter, they're not even gonna get a chance. He's making it a two versus four, which is worse than a five versus three. To six at the end for into the breach. What a way to get started here on the second quarterfinals. Are there any fucking Counter-Strike players who has a normal fucking mouse and keyboard angle? <laughs> like really, look at these keyboards, like what? All tilted. Maybe not middle, yeah okay. Unleash. GGB I did not see the face game though. Why? The lost versus who? Heroic. In the other quarterfinals, yeah. They are so happy! Ah, Yinxi! I trick Tank Monster, Lee, CCC, Chess, Secret, 5 years, minus 5 years somewhere. To the badge, man. Yeah. Turn yeah, pizza, yeah, welcome. Cold King with the four years. Force and eight, coil eight. Thank you, boys. Welcome back, welcome. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go.
Well, now everybody's shot, Jason. We're back into the mix. It's a 9-6 first half in favor of Into the Breach, as they are the massive underdog playing on foreign soil here in France, in Paris. And right now, they are shocking the world. Paris, are you with me? Beautiful. Let's get this back on track. Vitality, they need the hype. They need the pump to get back into this one because that was a very flat performance in the first half. The opening here for the French were not strong enough and into the breach, they are feeling hungry right now. You can tell by the way that they play. So Jason, they're setting up a little oh bit of a trick to try and stop the rotation as they are heading back. Oh, actually, they might have actually fooled oh them here. Running God. to the middle. Dupree will knock out Volk, but the, the rest of the defense is, is good. Lovely. Crucial with a huge mistake. Trying to unscrew that, that silencer. Lovely. And we're into a three on three. The bomb planted. Rallon and Thomas, they're right there in front. A little bit of a peek here, Dupree. He's good for one more shot. He's got a couple of bullets left. Hasn't really reloaded yet. And he's getting edged out. He needs some backup, and it will not be there in time. Cypher with the duel. He's now one versus two, trying to hunt them down. Oh, they're staying hidden. He's no. dead, but he hits the headshot coming back. He's oh my god, why peak? He's taken the last one down. Oh the my breeze. god, why did he the peak? Peak? You can't stop this guy. He silences the crowd. That's unreal. Why? What a game and a performance he's putting on the stage for the first time. Why is he standing there in the open? Oh, this is wonderful. How is that even possible? Oh, he thought he was wrapping around. I don't think there was enough time to wrap around. I'm so speechless. Into the breach is just piling it on now. A recovery in the pistol round, a huge clutch in a post plant and vitality is looking shook yeah there should have been no way he has to run away from the bomb to try and hunt them down on the ramp to even get close to getting that round and magus was waiting for him out in the open and still he wins the fight oh vitality they're in trouble well, they bought up in this second round. They're going for it here. They want to return the favor nice and quick. End of the breach have all their resources here. Plenty of players to defend against this, and they want to be aggressive. They don't want to give any room over. Not a lot of utility for Vitality to manage it and give themselves some room to work with. That's a good find. They need the headshots to create the space, but they swing out a little bit too wide. Double kill for Rollins. All the trades are there. And Zyru with the rebuttal. Three headshots, but okay. Cypher still alive. Yeah, he's here. Run for the flames to try and meet them at the bomb site. And he doesn't want to give it up easy. He would love to get a triple back to see, put Saiwoo in his place. The Kree's a bit low on health, so there is a way to turn it into a one versus two. Shot for the smoke might have been the uh, exactly perfect way to do it. Bomb being planted on the other side. He's trying to see if he can find him. And they know where he is. Definitely know. Saiwoo's going to get the last one as well. A quad kill to get them back on top. Ten to seven. And my God, did they need that round? Yeah, and I'm glad it's Zywoo to step up to the plate. Your star player, the best player in the world, has had enough of that. What a performance. All of Into the Breach was ready for that fight, and he takes him down one by one. And you better praise him, because he just put a little bit more life into the A4 arena. Terrorist. That should get you fired up. It should give you an advantage as well, right? That was a force up. They end up winning it. And now into the breach are out of money right away at the start of the second half. So you're not going to get many more better positions than this to launch or come back with. Three deagles and two five sevens. A couple of scattered grenades there for the CT side. I'm surprised Gaven hasn't renamed the uh, uh, terrorist and counter-terrorist to something else. More sponsor friendly yet on the offense, and it, and it gives into the breach an idea of how far Vitality have progressed as well, right? They they know the information that you know Ramp is not under any critical danger at the there moment. There were issues there all on his own, so with getting again, sponsors the because they were called the terrorists elsewhere. and counter terrorists Cypher back Thomas in the day. At the top of these stairs that Magus will have to contend with, and they're gonna push into the smoke, getting creative, getting a little cheesy, and another trade. Well, they're gonna be careful running back like that. Cypher getting caught. 
don't think he was expecting that whatsoever, and maybe he should. For the been. same reason that the company starts changing uh, kills to eliminations instead. Go the other way. It might not make a difference whatsoever what he's doing. It will be on Volt instead. Yeah, but if he can get a kill over here, he's gonna hear the footsteps. He's gonna call it over. Source, Chris, he, I he forgot. Can one kill uh, and maintain his position here. Had, that man. could be massive. Zyru's looking That's for it. Sphinx is looking for it. They spot him out. Good kill. Good kill to secure the bomb site. Vitality will creep a little bit closer. Long time ago. Really important, yeah. Take the AK. Bring it into the next round. The Vitality fans are starting to wake up again here in Paris. They were quiet for a minute there. They were feeling a little bit nervous, I have no doubt about it. But seeing Vitality now back to eight rounds, just two behind into the breach, makes the comeback a lot easier to believe in at the moment. And the fact that it was on the back of Saibu getting a quad kill, putting himself up to 18 overall. Still a little bit behind Cypher, who is somehow 21 kills. This is going to put a little bit of pressure moving forward on into the breach. They're about to enter a save round with this AK-47 is all they have left. So now the story kind of changes for them. Can they stabilize their economy on the CT side quick enough? Can they get enough wins early on to get comfortable with their economy to keep fighting, to keep vitality at bay? Otherwise, this can reverse very, very quickly. And throughout this game, Into the Breach has been able to play from the front. They've been playing with the lead. It changes so much if Vitality regained that control right towards the end of the second half. So much emphasis on the next round. But for here, in round 19, we look at what Rollin can do with this soul. Uh, it looks rough for uh, Into the Breach. Keeping it around in the middle is what it looks like. Wants to be dynamic and wants to be able to change up the defense in case they show up somewhere else. So, and I think Vitality smartly at the start of this one, just taking it real slowly. This is a map where you actually can lose track of the CTs, right? If somebody sneaks down the B ramp, or obviously in the middle on the ladder. So you don't want to be in a position where suddenly someone snuck up from behind and is flanking you in the middle of an attack. So they're making absolutely sure that's not happening. Well, everyone's going to be here from pretty much both teams. Only Cypher is going to be missing in this engagement. Thomas will get pulled over quickly. Problem for Into the Breach is they've got no nades. They've got nothing to counter the smokes that are going to come up, the Molotovs that will come out, and they might not even have vi vision with which to get their weapons involved in the action. Surely going to try and boost behind some of this, right? Yeah, they've already boosted up Rallon. I wonder if they're going to boost even a second player up there just to get even more of an advantage. And that one, Crucial's gone down. And a nice spam coming through. Thomas, good for the one, but yeah, they're picking yeah, it up right now. Yeah, to try to get up there. Is not holding up. That one AK, not making the difference. And Volt yeah. have to walk away with it once again. So nine on the side of Vitality. Yeah, and Volt's going to try and keep this in his hand, but he knows he's got to fight a little bit to keep them at bay. To keep them honest with the hunt, and that kill might have just done it. Apex and Zaiwu back off. Zaiwu might be going for a hunt towards the other side of the map, but Volt's not going to move too far. Oh, shit. So a little piece of economy that Into the Breach gets to keep in control. And Vitality is now within one. Ninja? Well, that drum in the back. Firing up the Vitality crowd. One round separating these two teams. And for Into the Breach, that definitely looked like there was a moment. No kid, yeah, have... I know. I was just got being said, hey. But now that they're starting to wake up again, but I would like to see one. The question of, of just having been here before, of having tried these comebacks, of having the experience will make all of the difference in the world to a team like Vitality. Yeah, Vitality withstood the early punches pretty darn well. And now it comes into a long drawn out affair. So another see? test for the inexperience of Pro the Crow by the fuse. All right. Crucial and Volt as the initial defenders at a ramp. zyru has got I've been the telling you for early. ages. Praying, hoping the for fuse a piece. is highly overrated. They just have one defuse on the uh, middle guy. Too happy about that, I'm sure. This is all just an early display of force for Vitality, right? The bomb is still in the middle. No one's really picked it up, so they're going to be just fine. Because they don't have money. Time yeah, exactly. It's creeping on in. Because it's the worst the thing you can buy with your money, so the they opt to buy everything else. Might be watched for Therefore, you should not buy it on the other ones either, because you can have more of the other good stuff on the other ones later on if you don't buy it. Maybe still live though. 
Happy to give it up now. Still 55 seconds, sucks. which is a lot of time on a map like Vertigo. Because all the fucking like noobs. You have fucking team. four in your team, and the fucking level fives are like, Oh, buy the fuse kit. Like, no, waiting, shut the fuck up. To come out. I was nearly out of the round. He's down to two health. And, and Vitality haven't gained any map control. All they've done is apply pressure to B stairs. May just just let his kind of presence known for Cypher, but they're not scared at all. Yeah, but on the other hand, Cypher is still alone. Look at this four-man push. Okay, great. They're going to find Dupree. But if they take out Cypher right now, there's still a way back here for Vitality. And they know a deep flash as well. Cypher is lucky to be alive behind that one. Bomb is being planted down in front. Vitality, they're not out of this round yet. They might still have a crack at it. Cypher's creeping on in. And he'll find oh, April. Oh, the spray continues. Cypher taking nice down there. Just right. leaving Spinks on his own. In a one versus four, that is almost impossible to win. They know where he is. They've got him pushed out of the bomb site, And they're going to go for the defuse right away. Way, 11 rounds for into the breach and cypher he is worth everything right now he's down to one health but he defended that bomb site like a champion i cannot believe what he's delivering in, Brexit. in this game he was so phenomenal on the t side as well attacking a ramp now defending this bomb site look how much pressure he's under this is a 1v4 and he's got the balls to make that play 23 kills for cypher leading the server amongst the legends Two round lead. Yeah, you could have made an argument, surely, that he should have say, waited for his teammates and they should have gone for a full, you know, a structured retake of the bomb site and all the rest of it. He's like, nah, I'm just going to try and see if I can do this before anybody else even knows that I'm here. And it turned out that was a really strong play. My talent to Jason, this is the almost all of their money put into this round. They're in a very precarious position right now. Grenade on the Dupree. That's a lot of damage. Got to be real careful here. The jump up betrays him. Yeah, that's the worst timing for Dupree to go for that jump up. Volt peaks while he's in transition, while he's in the air. No chance for him to fight back. And Apex wants to see if he can bring it back for his team. Smoke around there. And good spray, but Crucial will be there for the revenge. Rallin is sneaking into the middle. He's in a very scary position right now. Vitality don't know it yet, but if he keeps going right now, he could backstab the entire team. Cypher up here, and this time Magus is going to win the battle. That's a huge kill, but again, that late flank could really be detrimental. Oh, and actually, he's just going back. He didn't even want to go for it. What? Rallin goes down. I thought he could have continued. He was on the ladder, but he gave up on that mission. Thomas and Crucial now. A quick this fucking jumps, two Yolo. versus three here. And Vitality, they are ducking. Sphinx is making sure there is no flank coming, and it might be worth it to just walk away from this one. Yeah, they're gonna back off. This round is one. They All heard him. Just, yeah, I'm wondering kills. why the guy jumps out That's like Superman. That's actually a very important round for Vitality knife, like... to win, just because they get to punish the fact that Cypher is alone here at the B bomb site. A win like this is gonna make Into the Breach a little bit nervous about leaving him alone at that B bomb site. And as the smoke fades, it's Magus to win out on the initial duel. Very curious about what it was that caused Rallon to walk back because he was all the way in the ladder room and he was He could have definitely got down there But something pulled him back instead. They wanted to go for the straight-up retake It's gonna 10 be to 11 another strong buy for into the breach. It's the last one They've got vitality could actually slingshot this into a lead right in the closing moments of this first yeah. map of the quarterfinals. Timeout is taken an all-important moment and into the breach knows it yeah, the British crowd looking a little bit more subdued at the moment. I think the reality is starting to set in. Vitality answering back in a big way here into the second half. Only two rounds picked up by Into the Breach. The pistol, and then this, uh, not the last one, but the previous one before that. So it's been really scattershot so far. It's all well and good to come in here with no weight on your shoulders as a massive underdog having already beaten every expectation and then when you realize that you can actually do more <laughs> that weight comes crashing right back down when you realize you can hang with the big boys into the breach just five rounds what? away from a map one upset but vitality is storming back every single step they take round 22. yeah you might be right it might be Preferable for Into the Breach if they could win this map before even they start to realize what's going on. Just sort of oh my god, I'm looking at the fucking map pool though. Again, and what up cancer spawned this corner. map pool oh, if I got to play? He is trolling them and over right now. Thomas is going to be gone as well. That's a triple opening for Magus. He just never even looked back. Those are major winning headshots he just delivered onto this defense. 
and the round's over before they can really begin. Abusing this individual fight he's got against Cypher, and no hesitation to push forward. Your score prediction? To chance of his name. 2-0 uh, mentality. The breach can do is try and hold on to the weapons. They're going to be they poor. They will win. Dirt poor after this round. 16-12. Oh, they just continue. They actually find them at the end, even with the bomb planted and everything else. They come looking for those last this rifles. Map. We're all tied up now. And now, 11 11. and again, now it changes for the next gun round as well. I mean, this is disgusting. Fine. Cipher never expected it. Never expected the boldness. Magus has obviously done his research on this B bomb site. That's filthy. But now you can't stack up four players at the A bomb site early. This is two rounds. Yes. Yeah, I've so played maybe like just one man. Ten games on Vertigo in total. Right here. You've got to do something to slow him down, and I, I mean, you can. See I don't know. I think already. smoke or whatever. Five USPs, five pistols to attack in a major's position, but, but he's a ghost. This time, he's not even home. Yeah, he's going to be real far away from any of this. Dupree's leading the charge. They're going to feel out that A ramp and discover that there's really nobody here, and Sphinx is already well aware. Yeah, you're not gonna catch. I know smokes, all right. Team like vitality with this kind of. I know one smoke on Mirage. Set up for it. Easy on the I know spray. one smoke on Dust too. Down mouse one and getting a lightning fast quad kill. <laughs> Listen, you don't need smokes, all right. Reload. You need smokes on CT side, sure. all right. Do it for the crowd. Rallon on his own, just hiding in the corner, and Sphinx is coming. He should have had that one. That might have been one of the easier ones, but Rallon will find him. Doesn't change the fact that Vitality are about to take the lead at a 12-11 scoreline here. And now they can definitely feel the comeback. Rallon, one way or another, is going to get hunted down. It'll be Apex to deliver the kill. I guarantee you it's one of the vets that sent him forward. Go get yourself an ace in the major, young man. Go get it on the board. Nice spray down from Sphinx watching the flank. Ah! 12 to 11. Oh, the funny headshot. And you know what? You know it's good news <laughs> when you see Apex laughing and having a good time. What a second half this has been for Vitality. They are not giving up easy. Shell shocked in the first half by Into the Breach. Who brought up haste to this level and to the counter that they just weren't expecting Vitality. If they were, they weren't ready for it. But now my talent are doing the exact same thing. They are now in control of it. It's kind of what it means to be on the T-side anyway. You get to set the pace of the game. And it's working for them so far. Crucial, trying to backpedal. He misses the first shot, and how do you get out if you're in that corner? A little defensive smoke, bail yourself out. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> so They can oh. still win this. They can still come back. Thomas has won. I they guess you could say he fell challenge. off. He's got another kill. Yeah. And into the breach is crumbling. Well, that might be a metaphor for what is to come, Jason. That's really tough. Cypher's trying to fight his way back. He's got the bomb. He does have the bomb. That makes it a bit awkward, doesn't it? Well, if something could make up for your teammates stepping off the side of the building, and surely this would be it. Winning a one versus three. Bomb in hand, and he's trying to relocate. He has to try and make himself really, really hard to discover. He need, I think he needs to get closer to the bomb sites as well. I don't know if we can cover this, at least from a deep angle. This is interesting. If he gets the timing right, there it is. Oh. And Apex catches him out. Beautiful headshot. Vitality up by two. That is level 10 of oh, the day by the record. Bro. Oh, I don't plan, man. Don't replay, I'm a real Jason. man. Nothing you could do. Carpe diem, motherfucker. You have to try and forget about that as fast as you can. Think about it later. Bro, that was an expensive Third fucking uh, free fall. To time out to discuss things. Fucking up. It has to be a lower buy descending to pistols and armor. They'll have potentially one last gun round to get into this, but it's already turned into a comeback. 13 to 11. With 200 IQ, the 9 off, and the 300. 
No wait, Again, they still get the 300, moment, right? Split. And everything else or they get assist. On it. How does it work again? Back into this game. Magisk has got the I think they get the money game. if you Ooh. die from fall damage. Back to back rounds to fire them up to get them a little bit of energy they were missing after the hot start from into the breach. Somewhere random gets 300, yeah. This defense needs a stop, a very convincing stop. But once again, Vitality is going to knock on the door that B bomb site that has been woefully understaffed. Yeah, and in this round, they just roll the dice. They hope that it's going to be a fast play to the A ramp, and it won't be. Vitality are way better than that kind of a mistake. And That's instead, a lot of Molotovs. The utility, even if they don't burn out anyone in these corners, this is exactly how you want to play to m mitigate the risk. Of having an upset round, of having a, a little cheeky MP9 that's hiding in a corner somewhere. You've burned out the entire oh. side. Cypher is right down there below. Interesting little move, but can't really see anyone from that position. And he's got to be careful. He gave away his position. They'd love to be able to do something this round. It doesn't look like it's going to be possible at all. Oh, I like a this very cheeky boost on the other side might be able to do some damage as they try to escape the bomb side It won't win them the round, but yeah, Where is he holding? Really take some rifles away Ooh, This one Rallon taking off the pre it's not gonna do much at all economic damage isn't good enough for into the breach at this stage on this CT side They'll live with four players But this next round is so important for into the breach keep vitality off 15 Keep the map still in contention well, he might be right. It is only map number one, but the fact that Vitality survived the initial shock of that cold water splashing their face in the first half. And they live through it. And like you pointed out, the fact that Magus has been such a god at opening up this B-bomb site, that is the real nightmare for them now. They've still got Cypher here. Rallon is pretty quick to be behind him. Yep. But that will open up somewhere else on the map. This is what we mentioned. Surely, no way. It's the exact times. same picture. In a critical moment, you can't make that risk again. So here comes that basic stairs control for Vitality. Cypher playing much more calculated. A good win, but it's Apex. Dupree has taken the space that he created. Yeah, he's ready to swing on it again. One flash set up there, but he didn't really want to go on it. A Molotov actually lands on the smoke, and Rallon might have a really powerful position up on top. One smoke is fading, and you can see Cypher is looking for another body on the edges of that smoke. A minute on the clock here, and it's a good run. Meg is continuing. It's only going to be the one kill, though. Oh, okay. Three, stepping it up right behind. Still a three on three. And Sphinx is holding the middle here as Dupree is just doing all the work inside of the bomb site. Sphinx is coming through. It's going to be Volta go down next. And crucial, what do you even do at this point in time? You need Blam the, the fucking bomb. He's walking into it, but hasn't checked the corner. Dupree will take him down. A triple kill on him. And Vitality at 15 rounds. That's a nasty little execute for Vitality to throw it into the breach. That takes some really strong nerves and experience to handle that one. Into the breach, never had the info of how many were on the other side of the smokes. What the pacing was of the attack. And that's what sets Sphinx up just so beautifully. And even when you get the kill, you don't know what to do afterwards because of the utility. 15 to 11. They've really found the weakness at this B bomb site. They found the weakness and they are exploiting it over and over again. And if Into the Breach can't figure out a way to stop this madness, then they're not gonna have a chance of getting back right now. They're fighting for overtime. Five stacks. This is what it means to be a legends level team or a championship level team now. 20 kills on Cyru, 19 on Mega Sphinx and Apex both at 18 and Dupree. They have to four stack here. Hundred percent. Four stack. They are all putting in the effort. Let's see how this goes. 27th round and suddenly into the breach on the back foot. And they need more than oh, just a mirror they are for right a now to hold on to Vertigo. Yeah, Vitality's just spread out in a default. They want to see if there's going to be anything crazy coming in. If Into the Breach is going to throw out any kind of a Hail Mary. And for Into the Breach, it's changed entirely. Volt was the sole defender at the A bombsite if they spread across the map due to the weaknesses exploited already by Vitality's offense. 
And Vitality's gonna let Into the Breach burn their nades. Crucial taking a little bit of damage already in the middle. Volt and Rannon kind of look like they want to go on an adventure, and it's going to be Dupree ready to receive. He'll take down Volt. No flashbang around the corner. And I thought Rallon maybe was going to join him, but he was a little bit further They're still going B. alone again. And this time it's oh, going to no. be nasty. They're not even going to come at him head on. They're coming from the flank, and there's nobody to spot this. Thomas is coming back, but he's likely to get caught. Yeah, they got Molotov as well. Ooh, there we go. Apex on the opening, and Cypher knocked down right, once right. again. Meg is absolutely has his number there's nothing left to do right here into the breach yes it was impressive yes they put in a lot of work but they cannot overcome vitality on that home stage in space to take the last couple of kills and it's a 16 11 victory on the opening map vertical it goes the way of vitality it was shaky at the start but vitality figured it out came to play it i told the you they wasted too the much stretch. adrenaline you laughed at me, but they had none remaining for reactions. No one believed me. Hello, my name is Flames, I'm from Team OG. Floppy from Galaxy CSGO. Hey, I'm Frozen. Country from NIT. Frozen! This is Navi it's from NIT. Frozen! Let's put on a sweater, man! <laughs> it's very simple. I get five tries to kill a bot. Right. If I kill a bot, then we lower the settings, lower the hurt. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, let's get to it. And no one's closing, so it's good. Okay, okay, I got one out of one. So, it's very good. Alright, we got one. Let's go, let's go. Two. I mean, this is easy so far. Oh, shh. First shot. No, oh, I missed one. Too fast. What? That counts on my screen. I'm an offer now. Alright, tagged him to the door. Yeah, I hit four out of five. Four out of five I got. And he's finished four kills out of five shots. <laughs> Killed four bots. I mean, I guess I missed the first one. I missed the second one already. Hello, what's going on? Oh, I just hit him. Oh, I missed him. Oh, okay, now I'm missing. <laughs> I missed again, okay. I'm getting scanned by the game. No, 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 that shouldn't count. And boom. I'm still super instant. Everything is so fast still. Okay, I didn't hit him at all. Nice. <laughs> okay, that's five shots I missed, dude. That's pathetic. Okay, so I think I'm three out of five in this challenge, and now we're gonna be going... Two kills out of five. Come to Papa. Okay, that's so bad. <laughs> and now this is where I expect absolutely zero hits to go to. Okay. Why are you jumping like that, man? The game runs like a trash can with wheels. No, I whiffed one. I have to get one at least. No, man. They move so quick now. No, I cannot hit them. He was walking across this guy. You have to focus on really good. I'm, I'm gonna sit here until I kill one. Sorry. They're unkillable. I kill the fourth guy. Kill the fifth guy. Well, this was one hell of a challenge, I would say. I never experienced like 20 hertz. Feels a lot smoother and a lot. Yeah, who the way. fuck has a 20 hertz, man? Also, like the colors on those monitors, they're, they're very fun to play fuck? with. Instead of like having, you know, a gray monitor dead. But if you want to like the game, you also need to look at it and be like, that game is beautiful. A hot start for Into the Breach, but Vitality withstand the pressure. With the weight of the arena on their shoulders, they turn things around on uh, the side. And Machu, they turn ITP's dream starts into, unfortunately, better monitors. Yeah, and I think they also they use HDMI the arena. cables. Vitality reassured their fans. The beginning was but who the fuck plays on 24? I think they, they wanted to take the fight. 
to ITB and I have to give it to the UKM and they were ready to fight. You were gonna swing on me, Cypher's gonna take down Zywu. We had a couple of occurrences where entries were being found, Vitality completely in disbelief of what was going on, but credit to them. They did take a deep breath, they calmed it down and they regained control. We have a couple of rounds I think we should uh, watch straight away because the beginning of the game was quite interesting for this man in the picture right here. Both Sai Wu, but on the other hand, the guy getting tacked down right here to 10 HP, Cypher. In this round, with just 10 HP, he's able to find three entries. He's switching the AK for the Mac 10, using the Deagle, and he is destroying the man in the picture right here. <laughs> Sai Wu deleted from the server. Fair enough, you think, okay, that's enough. Cypher, you've done what you had to do, but nah, nah, he wants more. He's also going to lead one more player right here in the form of Sphinx. Cypher was the one thing working for Into the Breach in the beginning of this game. The impact he had on ramp, we see it here in round 9 as well. The fact he was able to constantly find openings, constantly poke these Vitality players, put them under a lot of pressure. Without Cypher, <laughs> I don't think this would have been remotely close, but the fact of the matter is, he played fantastic in that first half and then made it very exciting. Yeah, and he exploited mistakes, right? Mm. Arguably, the, the rounds that you've presented to us, Jacob, they also show Vitality players offering 1v1v1 in mm. isolated positions, not exactly a whole lot of utility playing with them, not a crossfire, so... I'm not going to talk about complacency, I think it's the wrong word, but I do believe Vitality thought that the duels would be a little bit easier than they were. And then that's when Cypher punished, that's when he pounced and he showed that skill and that pizzazz. You see the attitude? Uh, he's got Roland next to him, like, shushing the crowd, and he's just having fun. Like, this is what we're talking about. That's a competitor. Yeah, so for a nuisance, both in and outside the server, indeed. And the man is continuing for Into the Breach on that first half of Vertigo. So, Danny, what moment have you picked out for us? It's round 10 that I want to talk about, and it's also just a display of how this aggression is also a team effort. So let's take a look at this round right here. First starts off, four people or five people here towards this A ramp side. Starts off with the Molotov from Crucial. Now off of this Molotov, take a look at what they do. They just swing into the site off of the Molotov. And what this does is it allows them an opportunity for them to catch Zywu in the side and as well Apex in the site as well. Quick double entry. But why does this work so well exactly? So the first thing is, is that this Molotov, typically when you throw this Molotov here towards the sandbag, it's normally just a default Molotov. It's to flush out any players here towards that sandbag position. It's not really a sign of a commitment. On top of that, normally when you hit the A site, you typically throw these two smokes here to isolate the site. But because they don't actually do that, it leaves Apex in a spot where he's essentially, as soon as he sees that Molotov, he thinks that he has time to try to push back with utility. But little does he know, the push comes in immediately. He's completely out of position here. At the same time, Zaiwu, who's holding here towards Gap, he doesn't Very true. expect this push at all. He's completely But at the guard. same time, I mean, it's and a gamble well, because the they're not even looking at the sandbags. So if he just, the pathing right here, you know, peeks out, if he's sitting at the sandbags, then they lose the like fucking two players or some shit. Wide. What that does is it allows so. them to actually double peek Zaiwu on the left side while at the same time, Apex here, he can't get a clear... I don't know if you can hear person. someone taking damage behind view. sandbags from the Molotov he doesn't really have from the middle of that ramp. Either of these people. And that's really the key Not thing sure. to this play. Is you can? The utility, the timing, and as well as the pathing that make it... I don't know how far the sound travels, on the T side. actually. Absolutely love that breakdown once again from the Mahone zone because Jacob, it really illustrates your point. On that T side for Into the Breach, if they found a hole, they were able to exploit it. They were able to exploit it. Some some individual prowess came they out. They know the side, the that there's the nobody well behind sandbags because there's be no one on ramp. Potentially would be fearing that they don't know could that make for sure. What do you game. mean? I think they did it in the first half. I think Vitality yeah. really had to sweat for it. You said what it as mean, well. The crowd no had to on settle ramp. down a little bit. They were probably getting worried. There can as still well, be a guy being sneaky. Is, once we got into that second half, there was nothing being offered from Into the Breach whatsoever. Yeah, that's usually the issue when you're trying to poke at the bear to poke at the favorite. When you are dictating the pace, when you are at the initiative, and you get to you can always be sneaky. You, want, you find yourself in a zone of comfort. You take all these viewers, you're having a grand old time. Problem is, once you switch to sides, it's a different story that's being told. It's Vitality who's slowing down. They're exploiting Majisk's uh, impressions and experiences. We've talked about on the T side. We've pinpointed him as a key factor. Had multiple, multiple impactful kills on the B side from that stair position. Even Spinks was having a great success as well. And I think Vitality just got ITB exactly where they wanted them. They knew how they had to play. They knew the patience they had to demonstrate at such time. They didn't allow Roland to have some of these aggressive lurks. And honestly, the score, or I guess the end of the game, didn't really 
was a question for us. Like, we knew Vitality were in control in that second half. It was just a question of time before Vitality would win the game. I fully agree with you. Sometimes we can also dumb it down to a point where I felt like there was just not enough quality on the into the breach players in order to stop Vitality. I'm looking towards Vault, Crucial, and Thomas, who played 12 CT rounds and combined for nine kills between the three of them. If you do that in a game against Vitality, where Sphinx is fired up, where Metix is fired up, where Saivu is also starting to wake up, you need firepower on the server. And I hate to say that word, but in this matter, I felt like there was the difference right now for Into the Brutes. In that second half on the CT side, the players lacked quality. Just look at the scene that's going down in this arena right now. This is why we were so damn excited to be gracing the Acor Arena in Paris. I mean, th this audience, the atmosphere, it is simply electric. Damage. I'm just letting it sink in. I'm having a good time. We, we need a bask in moments like this, right? Like, this is why we say, and this is why we talk about the growth of CSGO. Like, yeah. if we're just reflecting for a moment upon where we started as to where we are now, like, th this is just so epic. It's amazing to get this convergence of all don't these different it. communities they coming together. It's beautiful. We've been all over the world, right? Right now, we've, we find ourselves in France, in, in Paris. Not so long ago, we were in Rio and Brazil. We've been in America as well. The MLG uh, makers over there also delivered at a high level. It doesn't matter where we take this circus, where we take Counter-Strike. It seems like people just like us are enjoying it a lot. Absolutely love beautiful. it. I love basking in moments like this. Uh, we do need to move on to talk about the second map in this series. That would be Anubis. That is Vitality's pick coming through, which we've seen them. Uh, Machu, you kind of preface this as a becoming more of a solid home ground for Vitality to be relying on. Yeah, they, they have really put in the hour, the work and the results to establish Anubis as one of their stronghold. It's one of their fortress. They've been one of the first teams to truly embrace that map. And we see here the man he's man, I don't know course. this. I go ahead, I've played this map you one time. To you. They're your fans. We're moving on to a Seems new like a things could not look more at first sight though a pretty decent map but vitality are very very strong they're on a hot streak for I will be hella the confused there like Monty phase and G2 as well is in there I think they've done the hardest I think vitality have survived the first tribulations of the first map and now we're settled in I it does feel like a Valorant map, uh, actually, yeah. When you're Vitality, taking down Monty at this tournament. It does. Monty came in with a 15-game win streak. On I think the water is stupid. Fairly easy, 16 to 10, taking down FaZe, but taking down G2. Right now, it does seem like Vitality, as we spoke about coming into the matchup as well, Matthew, they have that map pool to back it up. There were different routes that could have went with this video, but even though we can question whether or not Anubis is smart, it does feel like Vitality are so good on so many different maps that I'm not, not even slightly worried, to be honest. And this is yet another area where we've seen so much growth of vitality. I, I don't want to keep gassing up the bees in the arena, but you kind of have to because Dust2 gets taken out of the pool. That was basically the only ground that we were saying vitality was a consistent force, was one of the top teams on, right? When that map pool got shaken up, we were worried for them. And it's, it's fantastic to see the growth and the maturity that they've had coming into this new pool. Yeah, and it was a process of trial and error, if you're Vitality, right? We remember all the focus they put on Mirage for a while, and it didn't really pay off. I think they got to a relatively decent position without being able to assume that in a veto. Then we've seen Inferno, they've struggled quite a lot, and even I personally think this might be one of the weakness in the whole castle of Vitality currently, moving a little bit of the setup on the CT side. Motherfucker, motherfucker. They do have these three maps that we mentioned in the pre-show, Anubis, Nuke and Vertigo and these are such tactical punishing maps every single team that has dominated in the years of Counter-Strike had a couple of maps where they could attack you in the video and punish you I think that's the case of Vitality right now with that triumvirate rate of doom this is also one of the few maps when we talk about Anubis where it's not all about Saivu it's not just the Saivu show looking into the stats Sphinx is the highest rated player on their T sides on Anubis and they win an awful lot of their rounds on that T side he's averaging a rating of 1.52 over eight maps on that map ah, which is absolutely insane for a rifle on a map like Anubis I know it's heavily T side right now and I know most teams feel comfortable on that map but that's the point for me we always talk about vitality we always look towards side room when we need something to happen on the server if they're under pressure Sphinx can be that guy for you right here on this map uh, and honestly just to bounce back on the Zaiwu part obviously the first map wasn't a firework per se he doesn't end up with 150 rating he doesn't have 42 kills but when vitality is down 10 to 7 they're forcing and there needs to be a trade. Who steps up with the triple kill? It's Saiwu with the AK. It's Saiwu mm. making that difference. And I think this is what we want. This is what we expect from him. Not only to top stats, not only to be a super hard carry, but just to find moments of explosiveness, moments where hell, 
I am needed right now. I can change the tide of that game. If we step up, if we win this force buy, if we reset the economy, I'll put my team on track. He did that on Vertigo, and that's all we can hope for. I'm just looking at some of the stats from that Monty game, because as you aptly said, you know, Monty on such a hot win streak on the particular ground of Anubis. It was actually Magus to be chopping, topping the charts, rather, on both the T and CT side. We saw him igniting in the tail end of Vertigo. Uh, I'm worried for Into the Breach going up against this Dane. Me too. He's been fantastic in the tournament so far. The highest rated player on the T sides in the entire tournament, and I think he actually equaled that rating, having a 1.54 rating on Vertigo, so it makes an awful lot of sense for him to play well. Into the Breach, the have a shot at making this game competitive. They're already lost to Liquid at this tournament, so I think a lot will have to go wrong for Vitality not to win right here, right now. Well, the Temple of Anubis does await Vitality's pick coming into things. They're gracing the stage in front of their home crowd and tantalizingly close now to the semi-finals. Gracing the stage. We have a scare, Jason, and we're getting worried on that opening map, but Vitality... 13 to 1 odds. Wanted, ...and now they are on their home map of Anubis. They are so strong on this one, surely this is where they make the semi-finals. Yeah, I mean, for, for a team that has never... Dazaran, Jimmy Obama, Gaius Elias, Oitz, Kiona, Nick, Eda97, and Roger, White, Sox, Stumpy, Welcome back. Surely this Welcome. is the moment they take that step forward, that step closer to the trophy, closer to that date with Destiny, and into the breach. It's the question of, do they have enough to go at them? On Vertigo, we saw their best punch thrown. We just saw them fall flat afterwards. You know it's going to be hard. You know it's going to be difficult, but they will have to give it their all here. Second map what? is coming up. Let me hear you, Paris. Welcome to the 1990 uh, CGI. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go. Vitality, they start on the T side. The more favored side of this map and into the breach. They are now on the back foot. Oh, run boost to begin with. They're going hard at Jason. Run They're boost. not going to give them a chance. And Crucial caught trying to escape. Cyber will deliver the opening kill of the second map. And they are straight onto the A bomb side. Volt is here and he's paying attention and listening in, but he can't stop them. It's going to be a bomb plant. What a powerful punch here for Vitality to begin with. Yeah, that's Vitality. No, there we go. Cyber with the duel. Just keeping it on, keeping the pressure on, and wanting to instill that belief into, into the breach. They're not good enough, but Rollin is responding. One quick kill. Retake still going to be tough. And it's Magus to deliver a couple into a 1v1. Ridiculous, he hunted him down with a headshot. Now Cypher is looking for <gasps> but that bomb is down. Yeah. They're ticking away Cypher. Yeah, he's oh. getting a shot down, busted out of it. The sting from Meg is too much for Into the Breach to handle a quad kill to begin with. Yo, he is so good on these T-sides. The desk just mentioned how good these Vitality players are on the offense, and that's an Ooh. unreal round from Magisk. Zywu provides the opening. Crucial knew what was coming but couldn't get away, and Magisk provides all the magic after the fact. Look at what he's done to them here. Look he at the knows, way he knows it. Well. Oh, my lord. One to nothing. <laughs> he's on his feet. Oh, Apex. One of the most entertaining players to watch. Sounded like he said smart three. That is part of the reason why. Oh, oh he's playing with his heart right now, Magus. He brought them back on Vertigo, and now he's just picked up another triple kill like it was nothing. 7-0 and oh to begin this map with. We haven't hardly even played for a couple of minutes now. And they are just going to be rolling. That was out. Cypher is the only one. Maybe him and Ram so far have been, have been able to answer back. They're going for this. Two on two. There's a chance. Very slim one, surely, with no oh. kit. Rallon's going to be spraying down Spinks here. Molotov in hand. Oh, and it goes right past. You can't defuse inside of that. We Rallon. missed the Molotov. Oh, oh it doesn't have a fire. Three seconds left. No way. Oh, my oh, God. God. Oh, my God. What on earth is going on? Apex tried everything. Not on his feet this time. Guns empty. Molotov into the smoke. Sales pass. Glock not landing. Just pure desperation. And what oh. a steal from Rollin. He's a ghost. He was a ghost inside of that smoke. They just could not find him. That should have been impossible. I thought the now, Molotov would have been enough, but obviously with the smoke up, that's going to be negated. I'll tell you what, that's a heat check play from Magisk as well, sliding out and being a little bit aggressive, going for his fourth kill. That was uh, not fun. Punishes him in this round. For him. But it doesn't matter if Into the Breach can't capitalize.
A little bit of aggression at this B bomb site. Rollins gonna lead the way. The hero from the previous round, the Diffuser, with that M4 gonna search out first. Sphinx just playing at an off angle. And Dupree isn't there behind him. Dupree's kinda close, but not close enough, so there's not gonna be the instant rebuttal. Now he shows up, but he needed to be there the second Sphinx made contact, so. So far, so good for the aggressive defense that's coming out here for Into the Breach. Cyber will get one kill, but it might be too little too late. Rollins gonna keep it up. I don't know if Apex will expect this, not at all. Why would you? It smoked off. May just got a distance, goes down. Smoke equals wall for us and capitalize. They can punish. And they'll have a second round on the board. They're chanting his name, Jason, but Boys, he ain't winning this one. This is a lot to ask. Six health left in a one versus four. Volt is looking for him, and he just has to land a bullet even in his shoes, and it's going to be fine. He's going to be dead instantly. Just 30 seconds. What is this split, if he gets though? this kill, though, let's just say he, if he gets, does. He's he gets a plan, plan if he gets this kill. But... Tough off angle gets one. Like they have three people on fucking other bomb sites. And a big win for Into the Breach. Versus a guy with 6 you know, HP. Shocking that Into the Breach were playing as well as they were on Vertigo to start what with. What the fuck? Obviously, if they somehow pulled through a win on Anubis, that would probably be the most shocking of all. If, because of the record. They right don't know HP. Vitality, probably the you best do know HP. Right now. Most of the time. That would be shocking. I don't think anyone is Especially pros. Like Unless you hit someone with a grenade. The third map to or Molly. The probably had to win the opening, and you don't know about it. making a good case for themselves at the moment. Losing the pistol, but winning the follow-up round in the most ridiculous way imaginable. And now we've got pistols back in the hands of Vitality. They can't afford much of anything here. Yeah, End of the Breach don't have any great wins on this map over any great teams that you'd, you'd want to mention to give them a, a, some kind of a hope. Wow. Uh-oh. Okay. There's some aggression punished, and Dupree just baits out some shots from Thomas, who's aggressive. Can't go back for that peak. Vitality, no. And with the man advantage, the defense starts to feel a little bit thin. You just have to trust the weapons here. Maybe use some grenades at the right time. Crucial and Volt have actually grouped up, and they might be able to catch them right at the edge of the bomb side. This is pretty good. The spray its actually immaculate. Volt has just completely picked them apart, and they could never make it past that. He survived the one ace. health with four kills at the end of it. And into the breach, we'll get a third round. That's pretty critical as well. You would not like to take a whole lot more economic damage after this one kill. That could have spiraled out of control, could have put you in a pit moving forward into the next gun rounds. So, fantastic job from Volts. I think a couple kills through his teammate or the wall. Three to one. Crucial's got the op. It's crucial he doesn't suck with it, then. Yeah, that AWP, I mean, he, he actually hit some really good shots, Crucial. Obviously, that one moment he stepped off the side of the building is going to be something you want to try and see if you can make it back from and forget about it as soon as you can. Sorry for getting caught on his way back, Magus. That battle between Magus and Cypher is becoming a little bit interesting all of a sudden because of what happened at the B bomb site on Vertigo. And this time in the middle, Magus is going to be good for it. So in a 4 on 4, still a minute and 20 seconds left. Rallon and Crucial at the B bomb site. Thomas hanging around the middle and Volt again loaded A. They've located the AWP. Good flashbang. They really just don't care about the A bomb site on this map. They have no the respect for people going there. I guess it's so a it's hard one to take. Aggression here. What a find. What a quick find. But it might not matter. Because mid is so exposed, no one's even close to it. Volt is put on notice. He realizes the danger, but the B defense hasn't started shifting, so he's all alone. Yeah, now he knows Dupree's almost there to hunt him down. He's just back around the corner, so close to being dead. Does stop Apex for a minute, but at the minimum, there should be a bomb plan that's coming through on the Vitality side. Magus is running onto the site just with it. Dupree steps up and swings, takes down Volt. And it's Man. a three versus three. That's so long for Volt to play on his own. Yeah, and and really Cru is. Crucial has a step on the flank, but he's got the op, so he can't really be the impetus to this retake. It's oh. got to be Rollin and Thomas. Well, can he? No, the flick not going to be quite good enough. Meg is just trained on an angle and know what he's expecting. Apex is not even looking for him here. Rallin just goes down for free, and Thomas realizing he's going to have to be a superhero on this one. Jumping down into the site, the spray. It's nearly good enough, but Magus will survive and will pick himself up. Another triple kill. He is 10 and 3 to begin this one with. And, and this is how Into the Breach lost Vertigo in the second half on their CT side, right? Vitality was able to just defuse that B bomb site where there were man advantages, where the defense was weak. And once again, even in a one for one trade, they find a bomb site that's only defended by one player. 
Volt is just on an island for that entire round, and into the breaches defense is going to be have, have to be much more mobile. If yeah, they need to start fucking defending a bomb site. I told you, as it's, it's a joke, they have a fucking three one split. They love it in Paris, Jason. They are so hyped for this match, and I can't really blame them. We've never had a major in France before. We've had some big tournaments in the past and a long history of French Counter-Strike as well. At one point in time, the only contender to stop the legendary NIP lineup back with very games. They were the only ones that could put a dent in their armor. But French Counter-Strike have been doing real ups and downs. And now here on the biggest stages of all, it's Apex and Cywood carry the flag forward and they're doing so in style at the moment. Vitality with a one map lead already looking to see if they could put an end to the madness that Into the Breach have introduced into this quarterfinals already. Into the Breach have to be cautious with some of the aggression they brought out in these Yeah, he has a fucking AUG. Oh, he's those pushes and B main. He's playing Duelist and AUG, oh, man. His, uh, his force and build. Surprise is not playing up. Vitality is going to start being very aware and very cautious. And now Zaiwu has the AUG. Peek into the wrong player and you're just about dead. Thomas, how much do you want to risk it? He looks like a player that wants to go aggressive, but I mean, with just an MP9, you should never be able to make it through the middle of this map. There's a little bit of a flash set up. It's just a tickle on Apex. Ooh, they set that up nice. Just a missed shot from Crucial. Apex did get lured into the swing, right into the Ops crosshair, but the shot doesn't land. Oh, but it's Cypher instead with the organ play. Cybers with the bomb on the other side, and Apex will find that kill eventually, even hunting into the AWP, but... It's already far gone from that position. Cypher continuing. That's the bomb on the ground, and he's going to recommit to it. He's got such a trust in his aim. And he will take down Apex. Rallon clearing out Dupree, and now it's just Spinks. He's been lurking outside of the B-bomb site for a real long time. I don't know how many times Cypher has died. That he could do. Cypher will find him just running no, no scope the young with the up. Oh, quad kill on this the arc. That's turn. stylish. Oh, and yeah, he didn't problem. find a fight that round that he didn't like. It is a lot. Took every peak possible. It is a lot, lot. Nice quick kills to ensure Vitality couldn't fight back, so into the breach. Continue marching forward. Four to two, and Vitality out of money. The spray is so accurate on the scope. They need that. They need this kind of cypher, right? They need Very accurate. Vertigo, and he did deliver, and it still wasn't enough, but they certainly need him on this one. Crucial, banged Jesus. out. A bullet shrieks through the map and cuts him down. The eagle is so accurate. And one more click, he might have been able to get Thomas as well. That's twice now Zywoo's banged that shot with the deagle. My god. Rollin again with some aggression. Sphinx has had to deal with that a number of times. M4 is coming out on top. Magus with a rebuttal, but the bomb is so far away. And Into the Breach is going to start swarming across the map. Yeah, just don't give him too many one versus one fights. Cyber might be good with the deal, but maybe certainly is as well. All right, that range. Cyber's picked up. Okay, the now he is playing up. A little bit of a better weapon for it. So five to two now. We haven't even really mentioned it too much yet, but this is a T-sided map and quite a T-sided map at times. So the fact that they're already up to five rounds it's just should a, at least raise an eyebrow. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's not the numbers, it's oh, just the oh. fact that they've they've now won out a couple of buy, full buy rounds from Vitality. They've Watch been able to this. put a stop to whatever attack they have. We haven't seen Vitality really kind of clump up and just hit a bomb site. They've been kind of spread across the map. They've been able to get picked off. Into the breach's aggression has been okay a couple of times. Some decent one for one trades on it. Also, to be honest, the only one for Vitality that's really here is Magus. Everyone else, I mean, two of them have got hard any, any kills at all. This is going to be a much more simpler hit from Vitality. Just Zaiwu lurking down canals. A little gap in these smokes that were thrown towards B-Main and towards Dark Cypher. Oh, you better find it. Gone out. No, sir. zaiwu has oh, no. got the opening. Rollin pinned against the wall and taken down. One mistake, and you get overrun. He had the idea, he was looking for a play around that, but he gave up on it just in the last second, and that cost him the round, there's no question about it. Well, I'm gonna get planted, round gonna be one. For all some, Mr. For all or some, I'm here to spoil your watching experience. By the way, chat, if you add letter to my favorite letter, what sound do you get? That's right. Oh! Oh! You know, yeah. your knife for your org or whatever it is that's going on there, right? Uh, that's a pressure of the moment, though. That's yes. that's the feeling that every single decision you make is so critically important.
important that you're trying to get to it as fast as possible. Focus maybe two steps ahead instead of what's on in front of you. Three round lead is cut to two as the bomb explodes. Yeah, and Vitality opting not to go for any hunt or anything. Well, like they it. are yeah. doing fine. So they have the money to throw it away. So you said this was a T uh, favored map. Good to see Sun will pick up a kill. Somebody needs to get up there with Magus on top. Can't just be him. Dupree's at one. Sphinx is on one as well. It's still early days, but you want to see that change. So oh, they're doing sure pretty will. good for CT, then, I'm assuming. Let's see what Vitality switch into now. They win a round with a call out of spawn. A one, three, one set up, and Zaiwu's got aggression. Oh, that's so fast. You want someone to catch up to Magus, look at that. And two players pushing out towards A main. Dupree and Apex immediately push up middle. They realize the implications. A softened defense in mid, and Zaiwu's got another from a brand new angle. Yeah, Cypher's trying to sneak in the middle once again with that orc. He's really relying on that weapon at the moment. And there's the aggression I mentioned into the breach. Had to be careful, cautious yeah. about, because it's now punishing them. Oh, that's awkward. Magus actually picking him with a grenade in hand and gets a little bit caught. Flash set up from Thomas as well. This round looked lost already, but at least there is a chance now. Crucial, if he could find Dupree, but he's very, very tricky in the middle. He's not really exposing himself at the moment. Rallin is alone at the bomb site, and it's not going to be anywhere good enough here. He needed to kill instantly. The outer bullets. Apex able to discharge him at the end with the AK. And now, I'm surprised on. the pros still play uh, the uh, silenced one. The kid on his back, so they're actually out hunting for him It's a way that he could do this if he's really quick with it, but... It's I mean, I always no, played Apex it, but... This bomb. Apex ain't le letting this one slip away. Good check. He's now got the information. Dupree will get pulled back as well. Zywu, it shoots ooh, faster. Nade some damage. That nade could have done as well. It's a little bit too deep. Uh, looking for the peak, but right behind him is Dupree for the cleanup. Nice and easy as no, you like. No, it just empties the fucking mag faster because it has 20 bullets. It has fucking... And the funds, the money, the ability... 33% less bullets than gone. the other fucking M4. Look at this. First bullet headshot, beautiful. The follow up a it little bit. Later, now? No, the it smoke is fading, funny. Has the time and has another kill. Just imagine how close he is to actually losing that second fight. He threw out a grenade on the other side, has to get his AK back out, and Cypher is right there to shoot him in the back. It has 25. No, oh, it has 20. God damn. It has That's 20 spicy. Bullets. The fuck? You gonna get that tattoo? Oh man, Jason, I'm still not over the fact that Navi got knocked out. It's too soon for me, but um, right now, at this current point in time, you've got to say they're probably right. Four versus four to five. It's and 20 it's really bullets, you fucking retards. Any kind of a real buy, so they're going to be caught up to rather quickly, quicker than they I don't want. think it's the better choice, Check but the uh, maybe there's I'm something I'm not nice. seeing. It's a little bit better yeah, for smoke for banging, but. Uh, they want a little bit of stopping power in this round. I don't know. It'll be boosted up. Doesn't seem worth it. Site to get a frisky angle, but nobody's home. Sphinx is very far back from the position he normally takes. A heavy lean for Vitality towards the boats, towards A main. Yeah, and Vault here on his own once again. They have the boost going on over at the people. Oh, it's two hundred cheaper. Is it really? Seen it, but it really is it two hundred cheaper? Vault here had better. Uh, Lose his money. Wait, what? Lose three deagle headshots right away. Ooh. There's one. Okay. Can we get another one? A spray not quite good enough. Oh, the other one is 3.1 now. And end up getting taken down from Dupree. And that's that's plenty enough. Yeah, but now and now it's all about saving the M4. Rollins not even oh. close to going for this. He's going to park himself by the B bomb site. Gives a chance for Sphinx to climb up the scoreboard, but too many bodies to handle. Another AK I never played the other one. For into the breach, which is quite nice. But yeah, there, you'll take it. Uh. There should be no more shenanigans after that, though. Apex covering the flank yet again. Thomas to challenge him with the deagle. Goes oh, sorry, down. I, I pick it up, but I never buy it. really shouldn't want anything to do with this fight, but he'll take it anyways. I mean, this is still pretty cool, right? They're doing a little bit of damage, at least to the Vitality economy. They know the round can't be won anyway. Yeah, that's a good point. The money's actually not as strong as I would have thought for Vitality. Those are those are some pretty costly rebuys that Into the Breach has just has just inflicted. Zaiwu and Dupree have tons of cash, but the other three struggling just a bit. So kind of a setup round for Into the Breach, but they've got to win one if they want to get the benefit. Three straight for Vitality on offense. This guy is about to play Mortal Kombat. Okay. 
the ITB crowd is trying to get them fired back up again. Oh, they need some support right now, don't they? 11th round coming our way into the breach, able to feel the buy on this one. 10 kills on Rallon, 9 on Vault, 8 on Cypher. They're doing okay. I mean, again, they're on the CT side. But okay, I don't think we'll cut it against a team like Vitality. They've already proven once before that even if they are behind, even if things are looking a bit dire, they are so strong. Mentally, they are able to come back from almost any scoreline. You don't want to give them even a chance here. And Cypher again trying to fight in the middle and again just pushed away. It's crucial and Thomas to go down next. A clean opening here for Vitality. Charging now that A bomb side. Dupree, he wanted to go through but actually stops himself now. And poor, he's yeah, alone. again, poor Volt. Gets the first, close lines Apex, no one else coming through the smoke. Dupree's gonna test it, check it, he goes down as well. Back into a 3v3. Rollins still parked on the other side of the map, and Cypher is low from an engagement earlier. There's no kits. But they're at least gonna investigate early. Yeah. At least you have to go through the middle to try and steal no that one kids. back. They don't have any real nades, and the fact that Cypher and Vault are already very low on health, I sort of question no them kids. setting up for this. I think this might be a big mistake for Into the Breach. Magus, no trouble on that one. Very nearly gets a double, and they get the message now. They kind of realize, yep, this is not going to be worth it. Rowland is hanging around, but it's, it's just for show. He's not going to actually try and go for this one. Saiwoon speaks to hold on to the round, and Vitality to find six. There's three problems that Into the Breach have at this moment. One. Cypher is really starting to get beat up and lose that duel out of dark whenever he wants to peek down as the smoke fades. Zywoo's got his number, Vitality have his number. Two into the breach, cannot be I had to see, I had to see this game, and the range doctor in the wild, and the clean eyes when I get the kills when anyone's actually present. Hey boys, welcome back, welcome. And three is just these little micro-aggressive plays the defense is making are no longer catching Vitality off in any way. So tell me, Jason, it, if we assume that we, we all agree that Cypher, it looks like a sort of a star player, would you want to try and call him back from that fight? Or or do you say, if you have the confidence, like you already proven that you can hit some great shots, like you have to keep doing it. You have to try to get control of that part of the map, even if it's failed two or three times. That or you see, maybe you can, I mean, look, you're still in a decent place. You can still have a really a good half here at five to six. You've got a decent number of rounds on the board. So on one level, you trust in what you've come into this with. If you wanted to get a little bit weird, you could slide him over towards middle if he's comfortable with that position. See if he can help put a stop to Why not boost the all Vitality. player instead? Yeah, and that Much could better from that angle. For Vitality, if suddenly they run into Cypher in the middle and they're not really ready for it. But you're right, it is a question of positions. Something else, I mean, for Vitality right now, it is also becoming a little bit easier because they know Vault is anchoring the A-bomb side. They know Thomas is going to be in the middle. So once they find any of these players on the map, they have such a good read of where the weaknesses are. And now because they've abused it, Thomas shifts over towards A and Rollins shifts towards middle, which weakens the B defense, which used to have three players. And now look at the way Vitality is encroaching upon it. Oh, this is actually sick Ooh. calling, isn't it? Crucial is down and out. Cypher, he might be good, but against five people that are coming to his side, I doubt it. Good trade there. Puts a little bit of pressure on Cyber. In fact, the bomb is still outside. They haven't really committed yet. He still has a Molotov as well, Cypher. He could try and slow them down, but he needs the space for it. There we go, putting a little bit of pressure on. Oh, oh he yeah. actually hits the headshot and takes down Dupree. Very impressive. Might have brought his way back into it, but Spink shows up. And we'll catch Rallon inside of the smoke. So now it's just all on Thomas. He was in the middle earlier for the one kill. So they might not know exactly where he's oh, coming smoke from. Fading. But this will be the clutch of a lifetime. But he's not even going to get close to it. Double peek by Spink. Oh, yeah, there was a pillar they are up to seven now, right back into this first half. Yeah, this is this is a textbook T side from Vitality. This is being perfectly called, and unfortunately, into the breach is not at this level yet. What's he getting us? What's he getting? Oh, we got the stutter as well. That makes it even more excruciating. Oh, <laughs> what is this PowerPoint tried, presentation, dude? Though. Laptop virus, little. Open a hundred more. <laughs> Give it a crack. They got some pistols that are been picked up here, some HEs to play around with. But yeah, Meg is he's cooled down a little bit, but it doesn't matter, right? He bought his team time to get in. It's the wonderful thing about Magus, because I mean, even on Invertigo, right? The, the ability that he had to crack open the B bomb site in back-to-back -back rounds, he's just kind of been the guy, the spark that's gotten Vitality started. He did it again in this half. 
And you're exactly right. It bought them time to just get things up and running. Seven to five, and they've got a very good feel for the map, a very good feel for the game, and a very good feel for what Into the Breach is trying to do on defense. Well, grouped up in the middle right now with the Deagles, hoping for anything they can get their hands on. But Vitality, I mean, they already proved this on Vertigo, right? They're not a team that's just going to rush in somewhere crazy. They are really going to feel it out. And that's how you dodge some of these stacks that are being thrown their way. Dupree maybe could get swung on by two or three people if he's out too wide. That could happen. Vegas. Oh my god. What does it even matter? That's pretty good transfer. Is for that distance, I would say. Rallon. There's nothing they can really do to get back into this. Wow. That would have been a really cool kill to get. That was Ma that was uh, Matt just carrying the bomb across middle. If he gets picked off, Dupree has to come back for it. Vitality had already cleared out the B bomb site. But no chance. Cypher as the sole defender at the B site swings out a little bit wide. This is that spray down. Magis playing a wonderful, wonderful series so far. Timeout is called. The second by into the breach. A conversation on how to get one of the last two rounds in this half on the scoreboard. Sweating. Chance to say something it's while been, they still have rounds left to play with. Yeah, it's been six in a row for Vitality. This has just been dominance into the breach. Got to find something to slow them down. Op is back in the hands of Crucial. It's been a minute, it feels like. Yeah, I mean, just that spray down puts him at 15. Last two rounds coming up. And into the breach after a, a stretch here where they just didn't have the money to really fight back. Picking up that ball again. Cypher has been good with it, even if they did kind of slow him down. I mean, he's had the kills to prove that it's worth it. And now they're putting the pressure on Thomas. That's just through the smoke. Apex ran right into the bullet. Sphinx wide swing against Rallon. And he will come out on top of that one. This time, Cypher barely stays alive and will run down Cyber in the connector. Four versus three here. And Dupree, though, he has a very advanced position. It could be a free kill if they're slow. If Volt just walks into it, he could be dead instantly. He could be. They need to stop here. They need to show Vitality they can stop this. Not this time. Not when Dupree's there. Double kill. And at least this time, Volt's not home alone. It's nobody. It's a wide open bomb site. Yeah, and if you're into the breach, I mean. Do you want to go for this? You're not going to have anything in the next no. round. It's a 2 on 3 retake. You fucking no saved the off, man. To play with here. They've proven already a couple of times that they If are, they get one they kill, maybe they go for it. For some of these rounds, but they realize but. it's not worth it. There's no way. Nine rounds on Vitality in the first half. This is a brilliant start for them. And Dupree, he was ready. They did try and retake middle. They even swung wide against him. Which I is got a That's DM that I want to see his go skin. But he won it anyway. Thank you. Meg is actually going for a little bit of a hunt. Uh, yeah, I'll be uh, handing out the uh, CSGO right. skins on the tier 3 sub soon later. Crucial. We'll get the fight there, but so if you want, chance. be sure to, to yeah, be there. Yeah, and I mean, a good, a good hunt from Magisk as well. You have to say, even in a losing effort, plenty of money for the last round. So no reason to not go for it. Their weapons are more valuable than yours at this point. Good control from Dupree. Good job being prepared for the follow-up fight. Yeah, and Thomas feels like he just can't do anything. Four-round lead. Wow! Vitality showing class on these T-sides <laughs> in the two maps in the series so far. They knew they had one job today. A lot of pressure, no doubt, in front of the fans. But they're living up to the hype at the moment. Cyber's gonna again find Cypher inside of the smoke in that connector. And now they're just marching. I've yet to see any nice fucking side. off shots left here. this entire bunch of quarterfinals. Are defend people that bad or what? That's real far away. That's a good yeah, nice. Shot, though. But still, there should be a bomb plant and make his Doesn't even get, get to see the lag in perspective. As well. no. He's holding the rotation in the middle so that they know nobody is walking through this way. Vitality, four versus three. And they have such security from that connector position. They have another smoke as well on Magisk, although, like you said, he's very, very far off. They've got a flashbang as well that he can help utilize when this retake eventually comes in. There's one kit on Volt. 
Flash around the corner here. One more chance for them to try and win around. Oh my god. And Thomas is a good start, but Sphinx hiding behind the pillar and finally hunts it down. Apex comes charging oh. through, and it's too little, too late. Vault will be able to pick it up quick on that triple, and the defuse comes in 9 to 6 at the end of it into the breach. They're barely alive, but maybe the redemption will happen in the second half. We'll find out after this. Barely alive, huh? Fucking 6 9, what are you talking about? Where do you begin with Vitality? Dupree, Magisk, Sonic, they are in the history books. Cyber is there books. like a, already a legend of the game, he's so good. You are arguably one of the best players in the world. Because for me, I'm just Matthew Ebo. It would be a crime to not have him in Paris alongside Apex one of the most tenured French players that Counter-Strike has to offer. You need to give everything all the time. All the time. Every fucking day, every fucking game. Everything you have prepared for is pretty much out of play. Of course it's gonna be pressure. Uh, I don't like to be bored during the game, so I want action. I'm fucking ready. It's fucking ready, man. Not if an A production, it, Pog. It's gonna be life-changing. Hey, Maggie, my thing for the five years. Woo wah, wee wah. I have a chair, he says. All right, good for you. I also have a chair. Rose from the Ash with the sub. Uh, Petrus and New Zeus, uh, Lord Dero and Lipton God. Thank you, boys, for subbing. Are they subbing? It's just a video game. It's not just a video game. It is a way of life. A commitment to the cause. Fist bump fiesta though after each fucking round. Little jerk off. Some more jerking off. <laughs> A lot of jerking off motions here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This was the longest minute. Oh, he's 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 terrorist, terrorist. He's not speeding. I don't go. Maybe one more. You have two of them. I see 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 the battleground is Anubis. The stage is set for Vitality to make the semi final of the Blast TV Paris Major. Jason, they've done all the work. They've lined it up for themselves. They're just seven rounds shy of making a huge imprint on the history of Counter Strike. Yeah, but hold the phone for just a second because remember, into the breach on Vertigo, their T side is where they have the most electric side. That's where they were able to really punish Vitality, show off some of that flashy skill on guys like Cypher, guys like Crucial. Rollin was having a good game as well. Let's see if their T side is up to it here on Anubis. Pistol round is live. It might be the last half of major Counter-Strike that Into the Breach plays in CSGO. And they're gonna split towards the B-bomb site. Yeah, but there's three people defending. They saw this coming, Into the Breach. They might be running into a huge stack. Dupree executes Cypher to begin with. A little bit of a return. Oh, and they're putting the pressure on Sphinx. He can't stand up to it. He gets run Woo! down as well, and this is clean cut. Into the Breach. They overwhelm that B-bomb site, and there's no looking back here. Cyro just has to walk away with the dualies. 
he can't fight this one. You're not wrong, Jason. It was that T-side that was the more impressive one on Vertigo. And they're looking to do it again. And my God, it better be good this time. Yeah, it's where you really get to dictate where the fights are taking, taking place. And that's something they struggled with on both of the defensive sides against Vitality's offense. But this looked good. Nice, fast split to get into the breach, back in things. It puts an end to a streak in the first half and gets them a little bit closer to evening up the scoreline. Nine to seven. Yeah, that's a dream start. Even in spite of the stack, just oh. absolutely able to shut it down. Good one bullet flick there from Thomas. And round number 17. <laughs> They're gonna be buying up into it. Come on, boy! <laughs> a little bit of hype coming out from Cypher. They really, really want to have at least a chance here in the second half. Yeah, a couple rounds like that get a little bit more energy. Build up some momentum. That's usually what helps underdog teams carry that momentum into a victory. Ride that wave. They've just got to build it first. Well, they bought into this round. They have the scout, they have the Famas as well on side. We've got a couple of Deagles. I wouldn't count them out yet. Curious to see Dupree with the scout instead, but you know, he's always been moonlighting a little bit as an AWP player himself. Had that one chance in Copenhagen when Device was gone for a minute. Yeah, Cyber's gonna be found instantly. Magus goals are taken down. So far, so good. Clearing up the middle of the map. Apex close with the Deagle. They're gonna be swinging wide against him. He's only good for the one kill. That would have been a miracle if he could have got a couple damn. Sphinx is actually going to be picking off Ralan on the other side, so still the A bomb side is empty, so there should be still a round that into the breach you're going to be able to win. Yeah, they're still made a bit expensive. They're still cautious. They haven't seen Dupree quite yet, but yeah, they're going to realize this is all clear. Nice, easy bomb plan for themselves. Dupree and Sphinx happy with the weapons they can bring forward into the next round. The Galil that Sphinx picks up off the body of Ralan, and Dupree will keep his scout moving forward. Deagle can be passed over, so Vitality still have some things to fight with. Yeah, saving scout interesting definitely not a bad weapon to bring into the next round but i think for into the breach they're happy to lose a couple of players as long as they survive the round and especially keeping the Pretty ak's alive is going to be important so nine to eight Kagbilla. But part of the reason why, why Vitality are also a scary team on this map is because they are pretty good at playing the CT side too. They do understand that sometimes you have to take some risks. You can't necessarily just sit back and hold the bomb sides like you would on some of the other maps. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. Let's put in some work. You like it, don't you? Um, yeah, I think, I think on this what? map, right, you have to be a little bit more aggressive on the CT side. Now, maybe not all the time. Into the Reach tried it a couple of times, pushing out of the B-bomb side. They tried out A, but it really got shut down when Saibu was hanging around in the, in the river position. Well, I'm curious to see what Vitality will try and do once they have the rifles. Yeah, I'm curious what Into the Breach's T side is going to look like once the guns come back out, how they like to play things. This is where, if you're Into the Breach, you can really kind of lean on the fact that you're playing with house money. You're already further in the tournament than anybody, even including yourselves, expected. You don't feel the pressure of elimination quite the same. And Thomas is going to lead in towards middle with a MAC-10. Cypher there in support. The stack over towards the B bomb site. Yeah, and it's so risk-free. What the Thomas fuck is this vote? And what is the match what should we down? ask in the winner's Someone interview? The Two questions. Which one? We can only ask one on. question. The crowd effect. Really Good evening, effect. Mr. Force. I noticed that the Vitality badge is yellow, and their color is purple. Yet the bottom right color is yellow for Into the Breach, but they have a red logo. Please clarify. A secondary player there. He Look. was edged out. Uh, found the information. It found the weak spot in the defense. Found the exact location of the sole defender. 
Allowed his teammates to follow it up. Well, the logo will always be the Schaefer's logo. He's got to be a little bit careful. He's isolated and alone with an AK-47. Regardless of got to be really cautious. He doesn't lose this while also staying colors. close by in case anything else. But I'm not sure control. why they picked uh, yellow and uh, purple. It's a long spring in that last one. So again, a couple of Isn't yellow the, uh, one of so the worst three. colors to see? Taking a shot at the dead body. Yeah, nerves are starting to kick in slightly. Oh, this is going to be expensive. I think after 19 majors, Dupree's got no more nerves left in his body. Unbelievable that he's made all of it, isn't it? I mean, he could make another semifinal here tonight. I remember purple being a colorblind. With a couple of uh, of health, so not going color to be blind, very much uh, color it's option for Jason games. Nine but nine uh, into the I don't remember yellow. Yeah, They've made yeah. it possible once again. Not at all out of the realms. Yeah, I remember the second half hasn't as well. started yet. We're tied up, but everything is just going according to plan to the pistol round winner. If uh, now, you're colorblind, it doesn't matter now, what colors you put there. You might as well waste the battle. Now ones, we're going right? to shoot into the breach is made of. <laughs> Guns are out for vitality. That's a look. <laughs> and interestingly, Magus has Very been good. for the moment, but he's got a good spawn for a mid-peak. Or an A-peak. <laughs> down a little bit here in Paris, Jason. They've, they've slowed down just a bit. Vitality fans holding their breath for a minute. Cyrus going to be able to pick off Thomas, charging through the flames in the middle, and they want to go quick on the B bomb side afterwards. They don't want to wait any longer. It's being called in. Good opening for Volt at the very least, but Dupree's still back. He's got almost no real estate to stand on. He's going to get edged uh, out. Uh, right. Bomb not planted yet. Apex and Cyrus are both right here, but the smoke might help out. Uh, oh, no, it won't. Zaiwu finds him right through it. Crucials may always oh, slip the net. He's found a gap. The off is going to rotate over. The off might go down. Easy, Indeed easy for Brexit. One v two. Going to shank find. them all. The bomb is on the other side of the smoke, and he is sandwiched in between the two remaining. Oh, easy! And and now it's over. He can't push the smoke, but he's going to push on top. the smoke. Is he going to come through? He already has. He's walked right through to catch him. That is ice cold. He just ignored the smoke. And that's how won the triple, but that last Always. play, that takes some real courage. That's a big win. I think he walks through because Apex calls out the dink. Tell you what, though, I think into the breach, I think Thomas is hoping all that presence in that fast pace in middle with the MAC-10 might pull a defender in a way. It wasn't so. There was still a gap. I mean, if you call over. out the, the dink, that's when you don't fucking push the smoke. Without even realizing they're turning into the bomb site. Load it up again. That's when you don't have to fucking risk it. Could have been much more clean than right? it started. But it like that was a bad poor so fucking analysis. Almost all of that cash. If you know the other guy is 1 HP, and into the breach, you're not more likely to push through the smoke. Because he will see you first and headshot you. You will just wait and then, then fucking take one shot to the fucking leg. Reflex shot. Zaiwu to defend initially, but Apex has shifted over as well. Looks like they want to attack. You're so fucking dumb time. if you Bolt's think it's the other way. You're literally fucking uh, commentator and levels at the of analysis here. Not Zaiwu, he's a little right. bit further behind. How interesting. Trust me, I have played pro in many games, and what I can tell you from each and every game of those is that the casters are 99% of the time clueless. It's enough for the backstab. They could open up this round with one quick kill on Saiwoo. He's coming back to take a look, but actually he's going to smoke it off. That's really good timing. That'll have to slow down into the breach, and they probably don't want to stand still where they are right now in the middle for too long. Yeah, they feel really uncomfortable. This is great defensive utility when to mess with the timing. Actually, it forces casting. into the breach I'm to move observing. on to plan B, which yeah. is back to the B-bomb site. But plenty, with, of uh, back plenty of time to of time for Vitality to not feel the pressure any longer in middle. Yeah, but they don't realize yet. They're not making a call. Now Dupree's going to be hearing it. He's saying, you got a lot of footsteps coming in. I need some backup in this bomb site. Just him and the M4. And the first kill, sure, but the swing against him. More and more people keep showing up at the B bomb site. Apex on the other side, and he just can't stop that bomb. So at a minimum, they've done that. Cyrus sneaking through the middle. Apex getting blown up. And Cypher, you needed that one badly. 3v3. Uh, chance here for Vitality. Spinks and Apex is coming in from the other side. Bombs this must be a hard bomb site to hold. Kits in play, so they have a little bit of time, but I think they're back calling it off. Yeah, they're yeah. not even going to go for it. Yeah, they don't want to test it with the Ooh. economy at its limits. What a tough battle for Into the Breach to win that one out. Looked sketchy. The retake was doable, but Vitality don't think it's worth it. 
a rebuttal, but not a clean one that paves the path forward. There's still going to be a fight. <laughs> it looks so sad. <laughs> Why don't we take, boys? I said we take. Focused at a minimum. No one ever listens to the coach. The battle's high up. The score, and again, money just questionable for that CT side because they, even the round that they won, the one versus one there, crucial versus Saiwu, cut deep into the economy. They didn't want to go for the three on three. 10 to 10. You got to say, though, one thing they couldn't really do on, on Vertigo is find adjustments to make when Vitality was, was holding strong. I mean, this is a well done round where all their options got taken away from them, delayed by utility. That split towards the A bomb site was completely denied while they were fully committed into it. And they find a way out. Good adjustment. Good calling from into the breach. Yeah, and for Vitality, I mean, the defense works in the sense that they get to, they get to sort of repel the at attempted attack at the A-bomb site. They just didn't know. They had no idea that they actually were falling back as quick as they were. They didn't have the information. So something to think about for the future. Even if you do smoke off that middle, you still want to keep somebody. Just anyone that could have found out a little bit earlier would have made a big difference. I like this. Saibu's back with the AWP. And they got Magus on the AK. Now, how aggressive do they want to be? It turns out it's a lot flashed into it and a great kill, but he could not make it back around the corner. Cypher is able to pick him off instead, and now we're down to a four versus four. Yeah, but Zaiwu is peeking deeper. He sees it's clear. He's going to call out to his team that he knows what's coming. Nobody's coming towards the A bomb site. Nobody's in boats. Oh, this fight is the smoke fades. Is everything for Cypher? Can he find the timing? His teammates need to apply a little bit of pressure, but from behind, Awkward. he never gets the chance. And another perfectly timed piece of utility. He left the AWP behind, Jason, to pick up the AK and go get that kill. What a ridiculous play from Saibu. Now he's back with the AWP, but imagine the risk. He is alone at the A bomb site. If he walks out there and gets found, that could be the round done with. Talk about taking a risk to try and win this, to try and get to the semi-final. Crucial the Thomas and Rallon left here. Three versus four. And those are the risks that have always been missing out of Zaiwu's game. Yeah, you're right. He's found the courage in this major. He definitely has, and it's paid off. I'm surprised the Cyro cycles his grenades. But still, Dupree and Spinx are here, and time is running out. He doesn't have uh, individual keybinds for each. With the rest. Just a great crossfire setup. Vitality ahead again. 11-10. And no bomb plan. No or maybe he just changed his mind. Into the breach. He went smoke Molly instead of Molly directly. Feeling that's coming through now. This play for Saiwu is so mad. How did he know how to do that? Round is just straight up won by Utility. I think into the breach, believed there was only going to be one player there after the kill onto Apex, and they misread the situation right into a crossfire. What? A brutal one at that. Vitality avoid disaster of a reset, and instead inflicted upon into the breach. Down to pistols in a MAC-10. Here comes the flashbang to try and set it up. Magus, he's back on the orb again, and the counter utility slowing them down. They're trying to come through anyway, but you can see the damage already inflicted. There's no way. Apex started the shot. Oh my god. Just keep their distance. Saibu with a spray through the smoke. He's good. He will mow them all down. A quad kill here. He looked up. Putting Vitality at 12 rounds and putting Saibu at 20 kills. Said fuck he it. is determined and focused. And there he is. Legends. French the legend, second best stopper in the world. Applause. Impressive. Oh, and we keep, we keep adding them. We've got more. Kenny now shots. Their names ring out in the arena once again. It feels good here at the end of CS:GO. Feels See right. the screen once again. It does feel right. 23rd round vitality they're just four away they've almost done it and now let's see if this push outside is going to be working a flash to set it up maybe but no Rallon, he was just behind they didn't find him it was 11 to 10 at one point on the first map and that's where vitality just ran away with it that's where vitality seemed unstoppable they could be building into that mode right now as well Oh, 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 oh. 
You don't do that too many times against. Yeah, Snow. why would you do that so many times? And then coming through the middle, but Apex already knows, and so does Magus, slowing them down. Wide swing, and At Cypher is blown up. The utility on this map has just been perfect for this vitality defense. Yeah, you're exactly right. Flashbang, where they go. Flashbang disconnects them, smokes, blocks them all from doing anything, and into the breach is just trapped. All right, we got some and good shots. In the cage, and Zyro takes another one. So does Apex. And Rallon, he was the insurance policy. If that main push through the middle ever worked, then Rallon's position is really sick, right? Once the bomb is down to the A bomb site. But it never happens. Have your predictions changed? Because, like you pointed no. it out, the utility is just so good. Too low vitality. And Rallon, there's nothing you could do right now. 15 seconds, not even worth it to give up the AK, unfortunately for him. It will be 13 to 10. It's Vitality march on towards that semi final. We already have a Roy Saving game. dignity. Vitality looking to be the second team to make their way through, and it's looking incredibly promising at the moment. Yeah. Three rounds away now from the semi finals. Their first semi finals for Vitality as an organization. For Zaiwu as one of the best players. It would be fun to see into the, the reach window he's expected because to create uh, has yet to taste the semi-final stage. They're in France. But at this point well, it seems so the fans are be extra mold, still up. Vitality can feel it, the arena can feel it. Into the breach, I think, can feel it now as well. Different feeling. No doubt being on the receiving end. But yeah, reality is slowly catching up with Into the Breach. Uh, Little shot of production life. 13-10. <laughs> Timeout comes to a close. What the heck, man? It's so fitting as well that it's Cyro leading from the front right here. Home crowd. They know that he is the superstar. The best player in the game right now. And 22 kills on him. No question about it. And for once, they have a bit of money to work with as well on the Vitality side, so if things weren't already looking good, they're just going to continue to get better from here. I have no clue how Into the Breach get back into this one. Even being on the T side where they dictate the pace, I mean, the problem is, like you said, you can only do so much when you get slowed down everywhere you go. They're never allowed to execute any of their strategies, especially on that middle part of the map, which is obviously really important to them. Yeah, Vitality's playing a really annoying game to them in middle. Whenever they attack into it, they really don't give up the kills. They let them have mid and just trap them in that corridor with no options of where to go from there. Stall them out so that the flanks are dangerous. Into the breach, hasn't been able to figure it out. Rollin with an AK. Needs something, he's got the first. That's Sphinx, distracted by fights from behind. But the free lying in wait. Apex adding in as well. And it's all shut down again. Vitality oh. continues forward. Apex dealing with everything. Well, this is the deciding round now for Into the Bridge. For the crowd, they love it. And this is the moment to find out how much more fight Into the Breach has. Any Counter-Strike fan has to love this story. They've come out of the black hole of British Counter-Strike. It has been nothingness for so long. They've breathed hope back into the scene. And one more chance for a battle. One more chance to force a third map. They need this win right here. Oh, I see how much of a fight it's going to be. Flash set up. Double swing coming out from the CT side. And Rallon, instant return. is a good double right there. Defensive Molotov going up. They want to put the pressure on, but make his... Oh, come on! That's ridiculous! Right for the smoke, and he actually gets the headshot as well on Cypher. Brings him Apex. down to 15. This but flight. you're right. Apex walking oh, through the oh, middle. Oh. Crucial, able to catch him. He was almost able to finish that round. That would have been a sick little lurk coming in from Apex, but not this time. Apex had knife out. I don't think he was ready for that fight despite the flank. Now Zaiwu has a minute. A minute in a 1v3, far away from any action, any player, but they've paused. They want to know where he is before they commit, and that gives him time. That gives him time to figure things out. I can't really blame them. Who wouldn't want to be sure of where Saibu is on the map? If you make a mistake right now, 
Sense, he can win this. Send Cypher forward. Low HP. Yeah. Volts clearing things out from behind. Cypher's going to be the first one to lead the way. And Zywoo's in the wrong side of the map. Yeah, this is really, really smart. They have money, but probably still not worth it for him to do anything with this AWP. This just He's so far away from the action by the time the bomb goes down. So he's going to relocate himself. Maybe look for an exit here or there. Cypher is at least in the vicinity. Yeah, going to set up for it. Oh. We're going to win that fight once again, so... Not still so again. Running for it now would be a little bit too mental. So an eleventh round for into the breach. It's not bad. Walt hyping himself up. Zyru's going hunting, dropping the op so they can't recover it. I have to imagine he'll run back and pick it up. Money's good for vitality, but not good enough to just throw away the weapon. Yeah, he's got over actually 10,000. All right, that was the um, he keeps the AK-47. Most crucial run for them. 14 to 11 into the breach. Continue to fight. They, have they a survive chance. a little bit longer. Three rounds separate these two teams. The map is still in contention. But this still feels so brittle, doesn't it, for the T side? It doesn't feel like this is some sort of a strong comeback right now. They have to fight for everything. And they're doing a good job. It's just, you know, Vitality have the money. They have the momentum. And they have some of their best players that are really firing off at the moment. Well, in that round, they're given the gifts. They're given what they haven't been able to find, which is clean openings into rounds. And this time, Vitality get aggressive and provide the opportunity. Into the Breach still have to figure out how to go and take that opportunity and create that opportunity. And so few chances to figure it out. Thomas is back on a MAC-10. Round 26. Golden Hornet singing up the arena right now. 26th round into the breach. This comeback would be magnificent, but all of the work is still ahead of them. So many problems that they haven't managed to solve yet on the T side of this map. And Vitality look comfortable. They know what they're doing and they're gonna go aggressive. They did this before and they did catch the kill. And this time Thomas is in position for the trade, but he's only got a MAC-10. He can't do it at that range. Thankfully, Bolt isn't in any danger. Bolt, excuse me, isn't in any danger. Tucked into the corner. So calls out the aggression, and it's negated. Yeah, and it probably tells you that there were a couple of people at the bomb site early, but since you're not in a position anywhere else on the map, it's not like you can use that information right away. If they were all outside of the B-bomb site, maybe that would have been an interesting play, but they were a little bit too far away from it still. And they kind of default back into two middle, two B, and one. Just may just get the A-bomb site for Vitality. Well, Zywoo's going to be quick between mid and the A-bomb site if either of them gets put into pressure. He's in a swing position. Into the breach. Showing mid control with a double Molotov. Too distant for the nades to do any damage. It does look like ITB wants to lean towards B as the end game, but they want to at least scare them. Ooh. That's a great kill. That pulls Zaiwu deep into that the was a big pulls mistake. Pulls over from mid as well. And Brother. exposes the B defense. There's only two defenders. Spinks of Dupree here. Could put them at series point. They have got a chance of it. Oh, but Cypher, he just runs All right, they're the fucking the rolling in. With the bomb site. There's nothing they could do. He's decided to win the round, Jason. Three kills. And hardly any rebuttal at all. That's what they need. And they need that a lot right now. What a play from Cypher. Zywoo's just tossing away offs like it ain't no big deal. M4 in hand, they're hunting him down. He's got the first, brought to just below half HP. Trying to make it costly, but Volt will deliver the final kill. Can you yeah, not pick that up? Rid of it. I feel like you picked that up. That was awfully Last close. Time it kind of worked. 14 to 12, 27th round. You can. This yeah. Really <laughs> on the, like, <laughs> I haven't played this map. I won't play it one time. But. What a time for Cypher to step up. Been quiet on this map. They don't have long <laughs> arms. <laughs> this has got to be drenched. Two rounds away. This is so impressive from Into the Breach. Two Jeez. rounds in a row. He was really humbled in the middle. On that CT side, he was humbled by Magus and by, and by Sairu, cutting him down. But he hasn't given up yet. Three men set up at the B-bomb side. And maybe one of the last buys they'll have here by Talented before into the breach, sure up the scoreline. Dupree, though, 
It's a good headshot to bring down Rallon with. Rallon really forced that fight, really forced that situation. He wanted one more crack at the jump, but Dupree too experience. Give him a couple different looks and find a timing to swing wide that he won't expect. Are grenades overrated versus uh, by rounds? Dupree and Spinks, look at this. Yeah. They're going to hear the flashbang. Thomas I'm offer. starting to think yes. Going to keep on going. Problem is into the breach is I'm not playing to the man disadvantage yes. and a disadvantage in terms of information. Vitality know everything that's happening on the map. Yeah, you can see Thomas is waiting for it, but how long do you wait? Eventually, you have to give this up. Connect with Cypher and Crucial and trying to make this work. Vault. He has a little bit he can work with. Smoke and a Molotov. He could try and buy some space to get under the bomb site, but it's going to have to be the mid portion of the Three damage. It's not the even three. And this is where they've been slowed down by the utility in the past for Vitality. Oh, a little bit of a, maybe a chance. Looked like he could have maybe tagged Megas at the very least. Saibu's on the other side with that AWP. Ready to send a lightning bolt their way. Apex goes down. Thomas. Oh my god, the return is so good for Megas. And now crucial. You can one tap with M4. Yeah, yeah but you can do that with a Molotov. And, and Molotov also zones. Spinks and Saibu, they come back into the round. Good couple of kills there. Vitality at 15. One round away from what they've never done before. And one more timeout taken. And once more into the breach. Three Law, four, four out of four fucking timeouts, time. bro. They've really wanted to pursue this mid attack a lot. Here comes and, I mean, the, the uh, expert through, advice. Right? But the casualties are just, they can't overcome it. Even when it works, it's not enough. You can kind of see the play of having Vault out on that long position and up on the plateau. And having the rest of the don't in, die. Hardly, they didn't get the bomb plan. Click their heads. Shut down before they even get there. It's Go been delayed B. each and every time. This time it activates. All right, let's do this, boys. And the arena can feel it too. Vitality surely won't let three chances slip away. Semi-finals in sight. Yeah, historic victory for this team if they can, if they could do it here tonight. Fifteen to twelve. And the 28th round is live. Where are all the ladies, man? Into the breach. They need three miracles. They need somebody to step up. It was time for the one round. Ooh. There was a chance Watching there. Watching me. Yeah, they could have picked him off. <laughs> a little bit more aggressive in the middle than he's been previously. <laughs> Trying to get the shots with a smoke. Oh my god. Thomas is on the other side, risking his life against that M4A1. Yeah, trying to harass a little bit. Make it costly to take the control. Into the breach has to be careful. They don't have a whole lot of nades to work with. Three smokes, three flashes. That's the entire kit. And once again towards middle. And it has to be so painful. They know they can get control of it. They just don't know what they can do with it once they're there. Yeah, they're trying to walk the whole way. Apex, huge off angle right now. He's good for the headshot. And now he's back in safety again. This is everything you could have wanted. And look at Spinks. He snuck down below. They're coming up behind him. They might shoot him in the back. Here's Rallon. Perfect timing for that kill. And that's a little bit of a shot. But so is this. Cyro ready. That's oh, and he jumps down. No respect. Slow them down. No respect. I mean, he missed the shot. But that was really no respect. Even better. Vault's going to be going down. Just on Thomas and Crucial to try and hold on to this one. It's over. It's going to be possible. Megas will spray one down. And Vitality, a kill away from the semi-final. Crucial, he's being halted. Megas with the headshot. And Vitality, they've made history tonight. In the semi-finals for the first time, what feels like a date with destiny. Favorites to win the trophy, and they will not be stopped here by Into the Breach. A strong victory. Yeah, you got to give credit to Into the Breach for what they've done at this major. You said it earlier. They put British Counter-Strike back on the map where nobody expected it, but tonight... Vitality are by far and away the stronger team. They look so confident, even when they were behind, even when they were getting tested. They never really looked scared. Yeah, I mean, it, the experience disparity was everything. Well played, though, matchup, to uh, the, the other guys. The those major trophies across the, the UK, across, across Zonic, across Apex. And for a first time on a big stage, it's an admirable fight for ITB, and they can go back home, heads held high. What a performance they delivered. And the crowd giving him a bit of a clap as well, but for Vitality, 
the story continues the hunt for the major trophy to pick up the last victory here in counter-strike global offensive that is what is on the table for vitality right now as they reach the semi-final what a what a world to be peaking at the right moment for vitality truly first major in france two french players as well and we're going to speak with one of the danes the most experienced counter-strike player we've got it's james with dupree it's james bond well, well, very well played, uh, very well played. I didn't like the maps though, because I don't know them, so I didn't learn anything from them. Anubis and Vertigo, it's like least played maps. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And now it's time for Fortune to win. Title screen.